Hello everybody, Sucros here. Let's play The Long Dark. I cannot believe we haven't died. That's pretty much how I feel about this game. Pale! Welcome back! Have you, uh... I, I, I kind of take it that you got the job and that you've been working very hard. That's, that's what, uh... That's what I was thinking. How's it going, Pale? Hey, Lurker. Welcome. All right. We're safe. Let me make sure I got everything situated here. Uh, hold on. <clears throat> okay. Sometimes I forget to disable things, like starting momentarily. And turn my sound up a bit. All right. All right, here we are, safe in our little house. We're going to putter along a bit. And um, the main idea today is that we're going to make a wolf jacket. Uh, specifically for a lurker. Got to wait for these hides to cure. Um, and then maybe we can make some other clothes and then we'll head out and search a new region. Um, uh, so, haven't got the job yet. Spent many time on trial works. Overall reality hit me hard in many positive ways. Well, I'm sorry to hear you didn't get the job, but I'm glad things are, are okay. <clears throat> also, thank you for the bits, pal. Thank you, thank you for the bits. Um, we have the deer pants, and might I say we're looking pretty spiffy in our deer pants. Um, it's kind of late in the day. Let's um, and we're pretty tired, so I don't want to go too far. But let's head out. Let's take a look. See if we can get some lumber, some firewood. Um, that's always a good thing to stockpile. And like I said, the big thing we're trying to do is just just let the hides dry. We don't want to go too far until we dry those hides because the hides are very heavy. <clears throat> are the deer pants better than other things? So they're pretty warm. They, they're warmer than the jeans we had. The problem with deer pants is that they're very heavy. Um, and you can't repair them unless you have more deer hide. So it's kind of it's kind of inconvenient. Um, I've been thinking about I've been thinking about uh, where you might have gotten to, Pale, but I, I'm glad that I'm really glad that things are going well. Or at least not going poorly. Um, it's been uh, it's been lonely some some nights, but a uh, bunch of new people have come and keeping me company. <clears throat> so we definitely want to get the wolf jacket. We want to get. If, if we can find a rabbit, we want to get the rabbit gloves. And if I'm not sure if we have enough, if we have enough deer, I, I'd, I'd want to get the deer boots too. <clears throat> so it's getting kind of dark, as you can see. Not going to venture too far, but there's some nice lumber right here. I keep saying lumber. Like we're going to build a house. Let's, um... What the fuck? So... The wolves are crazy. 
they I did not expect the wolves to be so close to the house. I feel like we're beset upon by wolves every step of the way. Going super well. Professional magic. Met a beautiful lady. You can call your girlfriend. Wow, congratulations. You sleep. Rhythms are kind of okay. Can't complain. Very nice, pal. Um, I'm glad to hear that I'm glad to hear it. <sighs> what are we going to do about this wolf? <clears throat> hey, DNA Goa. Haven't seen you in a while either. Welcome back. Yeah, it's probably going to be scary. I'm scared, at least. Thank you, Pale. Um, I guess the wolf is gone. Working 24-7. The sun is setting. It's gonna get a lot colder soon. Um, I guess that has its downsides. But it has its upsides, too. Like, money. Uh, which... You know, it's, it's pretty nice. Well, I guess we won't be getting that lumber. Oh, the sky's turning a nice pink. I keep saying lumber. I'm gonna need to rest soon. I love hearing the birds in the distance. So... Well, there's not much we can do. I'm gonna stand on the porch and... Maybe try to read a little bit in the fading light. Have we finished this one? We finished that one. Uh, we need to get another book then. Oh, I have a bunch of meat on me. Um, you can't see me? Why can't you see me? Um, I mean, other than it being too dark. I don't know why sometimes it doesn't access the chest. I said I have a lot of money? No. No, no, no. Can't see you on that. Are you singing a song? Because I don't know what you're talking about. I don't have a lot of money. I don't have a job. I got my feet in ice. Yeah, Larker. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, I, let's grab another book if we can find it. Oh, that was it. That was it. What happened to... Is this, all, is this the only book we have left? I'm going to take them out of ice while I'm asleep. Um, I've got the window open, and it's going to be getting colder here tonight. All right, let's, uh, let's read a couple pages from this book. Sort of weird sounds. Oh, no. So I'm not sure, for those of you who haven't seen this, but um, there's an aurora tonight, which is very pretty. But it makes the animals more dangerous. We're going to hop inside and... Ooh, I think we're just going to go to bed. Um, the aurora kind of creeps me out because all the lights sort of turn on again, as you can see. 
Um, when you're working, you got a lot of money, and then you replace. But I can't see you. Oh, 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 oh. I gotcha. I gotcha. Uh, <laughs> that that's true. That's true. Everyone knows animals go ham on beautiful lights. Yeah, of course. All right, let's let's do a little sleep in here. Need a flashlight. God, I wish. So, okay. I realized that we should have been using torches a little bit more than we have been. Um, you, you can pull a torch out of a fire, and then I think you can extinguish it. And then you can light it with a match. So if a wolf comes, we can light a torch and scare him away with the torch. That's not guaranteed to work. But it's better than what we've been doing, which is shooting all of them and wasting our precious bullets. So I'm going to try that next time we make a fire. Grab a couple torches. Um, what are we going to do tomorrow morning? We could try to go back to the dam. Can I make anything out of bear? Yeah, you can make um, a sleeping bag. And it's really warm. Um, and I think it keeps away wolves, but I'm not entirely sure. Hey, bad gamer. What's up, man? I think the sleeping bag, the bear sleeping bag keeps away wolves. Sadly, the wolf jacket does not. You'd think the wolf jacket would keep wolves away, but weather looks pretty, sounds pretty shitty outside. Let's see if we can get another hour sleep in. All right, so last time we tried to go to the back to the dam, we got caught up halfway by a wolf and a deer, and we had to deal with all of that. Maybe we should try again? Or we can try to make it to the tower again. Um, and I guess we'll just see which one the wolves let, let us do. That's the bed we need. Uh... I'm sure I'll kill a wolf. Uh, I'm sure I'll attack a bear eventually, but not today. Um, like I said before, I want to want to get a little bit more bored before we go attacking bears. They they're pretty nasty. I've never had bear meat. No, I mean not in person, not in real life. I have had um, venison. It's all right. I'm not crazy about it. All right, let's put everything away. I don't think we've done that yet. Uh, we've got just some meat on the ground here. Let's drop this meat and we'll get some, uh, like a tin can, I guess. The bears can smell meat. So we want to avoid that. Let's uh, just do some do some tidying up. As this kind of seems like half the stuff I do is tidying up. But so we've read this. So I'm gonna drop it. Haven't read that. Um, have any of you ever had bear meat? I've had alligator. Um. What other weird stuff have I had? I've had frogs. I'm just not impressed with frogs. Alright, we don't need these jeans anymore because we're wearing deer pants. We can drop some sticks. Now, I'd love to drop the hatchet, but if we need wood, it would take longer to get wood. Uh, but it is three pounds. Wait. Oh, I was going to eat that. Um, I 
Man, I wish we could I wish we could do away with this gun. It seems like everywhere we go, we're beset by wolves. It's nine pounds. It ain't somewhat super strong and tasty, but the stench that pours out of me is highly irritating. Stench, huh? I can't, I can't even imagine. I feel like meat has like a meaty smell. Did it just smell like a steak but stronger? Super aggressive wild smell. People have said that about me before. What are we carrying that's so heavy? Oh, our pants. The water. Um, three pounds. How much is a, a cedar? I'm gonna make a tactical decision here. I'm gonna put up, put up the axe, put up the hand axe, or whatever it's called, hatchet, just to save a little more space. I feel like we're, we have way too much space as it is. You know what? I'm gonna wear the jeans for now because it's not, it's not that cold out. And we'll put the bear pant, the deer pants away. So that's a little more space. Um, either of those could be bad decisions, but one of the stats that I'm not really looking at is, um, I think, covered up by my face. Oh, no, you can see it. So the shield here is protection. So jeans only offer 2% protection, and the deer pants are, well, they're better. Um, let's see what the deer pants protection is. Oh, I can't see it here. So it's 10%? 10, 10 is that right? So it would protect us a little bit, but it's so heavy. I'm going to leave it. OK. We're, we're looking pretty sharp. So let's see if we can top ourselves off with food. Let's um, drop the rest. And if we need space, we can drop water. But otherwise, we'll drink it. I think you'd smell the same if I sleep at night in the bear cave. So the thing about, the thing that's kind of weird is, I understand that a, be a, be a beer, a bear would smell bad. But underneath his skin, you'd think that would be insulated from the smell. You know, like... That would be clean. At least that's the idea. So, I don't know. I feel like a steak smells like blood. But nothing really, you know, it doesn't smell like a, like a cow. Well, all right. Let's try the new sort of pacifist attitude. We'll do a... Um, We'll carry around a flare instead of the... This is probably a terrible idea.
Carry around a gun instead of a flare. <laughs> the problem is we're running out of bullets pretty quickly. Thought the same until shit hit the pan. All right, it's a little chilly out here. Let's let's see how chilly. Feels like 22. That's pretty chilly. It needs to warm up 10 degrees for us to be comfortable. So I want to go here. And the last time we tried, we fought off two wolves. We sprained our ankle and almost died. And, and we didn't even find it. We couldn't figure out how to get up. I love those bird sounds. You hear that? Is the audio too low or can, can you hear the bird sounds? The little footsteps. Sounds like snow. Alright, let's see if we can do this. You want me to turn the game audio up? Um, Alright, I'll, I'll kick it up a little bit. I don't want to go too crazy because... Uh, some of the stuff can get kind of loud, like the gunshots. See, see how that is. I mean, it's quiet. Like, it's quiet for me. You're, you're walking in the snow for, for, for uh, after all. Yeah, the clip with the wolf on the railways was, was, I think the timing was just fantastic. How the wind started up immediately. Do you hear that? So I'm crouched. So we've seen we've seen wolves over here. Now this is where we came down, I think, and turned our ankle. Yeah, I thought it was pretty, uh, it was a pretty good little 60 second story. Oh shit, it's actually getting colder. It's a wolf. Okay. So. The fact that the weather is is getting worse, significantly worse, it's getting colder and windier, visibility is decreasing. I'm, I'm heading back. I can't go out in this. I wish, Pale. I wish. So there's something like seven or... I don't know. At this point, maybe it's even... I thought I heard something. It might even be like ten maps. And you can cross back and forth between them. They're pretty big. Pretty... Pretty darn big. And, but you can't... You can't really, like... <laughs> migrate. Yeah, you have to stay in Canada. Well, that was quite a little trip, huh? Didn't get very far. So, e everywhere we go, there's a wolf. 
And I don't know if this map is just bad, like full of wolves, or if they're just everywhere. We. Oh my god. Oh, that's we dropped that. Okay, it's ruined. Never mind. So we have it set to essentially stalker difficulty, but I think we turned off a couple things like parasites or something. But otherwise, the wolf settings are as it is on essentially hard. So this may be just how wolves are on hard. Game only ends if you die. There's no win condition. <laughs> There's only loss. Win to, to win is to become comfortable and to live another day. I'd say if we can get to like a hundred days, at that point, we'll feel like we've won. There won't be... There won't be pressing survival needs at that point. You know what I mean? I didn't need to use a hatchet. But I did. Oh, the wind is still blowing. The wind. Through 65 days, live to win. Yeah, I don't know what the record is. People talk about it a lot. I think people have probably, probably lived for 1,000 days. So I was really thinking, oh, there we go, quiet it down. All right, let's take another gander outside. Well, we might as well top up uh, while we're here. Good, you can eat it off the floor. Uh, but we all deserve to die, even you, Mrs. Lovett, even I. I don't know what that's from, Pale, but I take it it's from something. Probably something famous that I don't, uh, that I'm not cultured enough. So, all right, it's, the visibility sucks, but it's a lot warmer. Let's go close meat and eat it off the floor. I mean, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do to survive. We filled up the cabinets with uh, with meat, so we had to put some on the floor. We could go check on our rabbit trap. Let's let's try that. Oh my god, the wind is blowing so hard that she's struggling to move. Rabbit 9? I think it's this way. If you eat this, is that what you call ground beef? Oh, that's pretty good, Pale. That, cheer, cheer 10 to Pale. That's pretty good. Yeah, I want to get the mittens. The la See, even this is kind of dangerous, because the last time we went up here, there was a wolf. And I feel like we're, we're never safe from wolves. Uh, apparently, in this setting, you can twist your ankle just climbing the hill, too. We don't have... We don't have much in the way of firewood. I should have gotten an axe again. Because um, if we if we do kill a wolf, we won't be able to cook him. We'll have to take a... We'll have to do it in the cold. 
can be scared of them, they sense fear. So I tried to read up a little bit on how the wolves work, and honestly, it's as ridiculous as it seems. Um, they attack, they're pissed off that you exist, there's no trick. Um, the only thing is, is that the wiki says that they bark when they attack. And so if they just growl, they're just threatening. That's the only thing I really learned. So we maybe don't have to worry quite so much when they just growl. Oh, it's a little... Oh, we should have gotten our rocks. I hope there's some rocks up here. There's a nice big branch, but we can't uh, can't break it without a hatchet. Oh, it's empty. Our trap is empty. Let's get some sticks and look for rocks so that we can... Um, so that we can try to get that rabbit. Come here, bunny. I tell you one thing, this game is so pretty. If it wasn't trying to kill you, it... it well, that's not pretty. That's a little bit of a graphical glitch, but other than that, this game is so pretty. Uh, it tries to kill you at every turn. I don't see any rocks. Maybe there's rocks in the cave. Maybe we can warm up in the cave. Oh, I think I see rocks. All right, I got two shots. Yeah, perfect timing, yeah. Um, we've been here before. I didn't see anything, but I think it was darker, so I'm just going to take another little look around in case there's anything interesting. You expect there to be more little stones, but store infinite bottles in your ass. Yeah, yeah, but again, I think it would be less fun if you had to worry about bottles. Oh, there's there's some rocks. All right, I got four. Four chances to hit a rabbit. Now where'd they go? Oh my god, this the wind is crazy. It's like um it, I feel it. I feel it pushing me when I walk against it. Not really your style? I like it. It's a little bit abstract. I don't see it as a performance thing, although I guess it probably helps performance. It, to me, it looks... Oh, shit. So first of all, there's a deer. Second of all, I can really, really hit a bunny. So we got a rabbit. Um, let's try to get the hide. How, how long does it take? 30 minutes? That scream. Yeah, I mean, it's a survival situation, Kale. <laughs> Didn't need to see me kill it. Do you think we can... Do you think this is going to freeze us? Problem is, I don't think I can start a fire here with the wind. Let's get the hide first and see how that goes. Okay. I think we can do it unless the unless the temperature shifts for good. 
For more pants? Well, I was thinking we'd make shoes. We leveled up in carcass harvesting. I believe that gives us more meat. Oh, it's warmed up. Okay. But we're carrying meat. We're carrying meat. <laughs> well, we might have a lot of meat, but it's not going to last but a few days. So, this person eats an insane amount of food. And to be fair, she's running around in the wilderness, like, chopping wood and stuff, but... I think it's two, two hides for shoes. So I think we actually can do shoes now. But once we, once we dry the hide, a wolf a day keeps the doctor away. Man, I, these, the wolves are just the, if we play, so if I die, I mean, when I die, I think I'm going to turn the wolves down a bit next time, because I think it's kind of getting in the way of doing stuff. Maybe that's nice. Damn. Oh, that hurts. So she sprained her wrist walking on the still. So that means I can't, um, can't shoot. But I think we're home, so shouldn't need to. Clown got huge feet. Yeah, it takes yeah. Well, a whole deer skin for each for each foot. Um. She's walking her feet. I don't know. She she sprains her wrist a lot. All right, we drop um uh, drop that in the snow. Let's go ahead and take the skin inside and, and start it drying. Or hide, I guess. I guess I should say. Um, boop, boop. So, we could harvest the rabbit. And that would, um, that would give us that, um, give us that hide, and we'll go ahead and start that drying. It's getting dark. Oh, one of our wolf pelts is secured. All right, let's put this rabbit pelt on the ground. Fair enough gut on the ground. Let's take a bite to eat and maybe hop outside and read a couple pages of our book. Oh. And then go to bed. Brenda's from walking. Yeah, I, I think it's kind of bullshit, personally. Um, the game is sort of notorious for you, you sprain your wrist because of, like, you know, a blade of grass. But I guess the idea is when you're on a hill, you're using your hands to kind of climb up, I guess. I, I don't know. But let's, let's read a couple pages of this. I'm not healthy enough. I can't read when my wrist is sprained? Jesus Christ. That's a little much. I feel like that's a little bit much. So I could take medicine for this, but a sprained wrist heals on its own. You have to just rest for two hours. I don't want to spend medicine on that, so... So let's wander a little bit. We won't go too far. There's still daylight left. 
if you go to sleep too soon, you wake up in the middle of the night with nothing to do. Your eyes don't work because your wrist. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Let's see if we can see where that wolf was hanging out. Oh, I see him. He's still there. So he's tiny. And I can't I can't use the rifle because of the sprained wrist, but you can see him just in the center of the screen moving to the left. We are beset upon at all sides. We've got a We've got to go to another area that has fewer wolves. But I don't I don't even know if such an area exists. This is kind of like the easy map. Oh, sorry. Is there any other form of food in this game to have an pacifist run? Yeah, you can totally have a pacifist run, but um, you, you'd only be able to eat what you can scavenge from houses and things and eventually that runs out um, it runs out pretty fast you'd have to stay on the move all the time um, it would be very difficult pale it would be a fun thing to do I'm probably not good enough at this game to to really give it a good shot but it's I bet you could live for I mean, at least a hundred days. There's a lot of there's a lot of space now. There's a lot of maps, and if you knew where to go, you could find food. You have to be a wanderer, yeah. Well, I don't really see what I can do without um, without uh, sleeping. So I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna make a fire. We'll get a little bit more water and cook these couple of steaks. If I can find the fireplace. It'd be nomad, yeah. Sounds so stressful, yeah. So there's there's a couple of different challenge modes that the game has um, that they're pretty interesting, but they're for they're for good players, for sure. One is you have to get from like one end of the game to the other end of the game, going through all the different maps, but a bear is chasing you the whole time. <laughs> um, another one. I think is about amassing a certain amount of food because there's going to be some big blizzard or something. All right. Let's cook these up and hopefully make a little bit of water with the time that's left and then we'll head to bed. So to me, the game is all about time management. I mean, other than the wolves, I think the single biggest enemy you have is that you have to eat so much. And if you just waste time, it's it's just not a very efficient use of your resource resources. Seems like the ultimate stress test. The game is pretty stressful. Some people think some people say that it chills them out. But for me, it's it's pretty stressful. I think as you get better, I think I need to lay down. well, let me let me turn that around. If if we hadn't set it to hard, because you know me, I, I like a challenge. 
If we hadn't have set it to hard, it would have been a lot more relaxing. Um, you can you can configure how everything works. So you can actually say that wolves are passive, for example. And if wolves are passive, the game has a hugely different spin. Um, I got the I got the coffee mug because I made some tea. Which kind of doesn't make sense, but again, stop worrying about the bottles, Lurker. All right, that's pretty good. We got some meat. Got a little bit more water. I think we're ready for bed. Um, if I can, oh, it's so dark in here, even with that thing on. There must be a storm outside. Okay, I, I... I can't find anything, and the fire's gone out, so I'm gonna just go up to bed. She's getting pretty tired. Start with four. Uh, if a cup of ceramic, it could hold fire. Oh, we healed our sprained wrist. Yeah, you can see that. I always forget exactly what you can see. Let me. Uh oh, it's another Aurora. Luckily, we are. Totally safe inside our little uh, cabin. So, Pale, I think once we die in this game, I think on the next one, what I want to do is set the wolves a lot easier and set the weather to be harder. I think I think I would enjoy that more because it'd be more about fighting off the elements than fighting off these little angry dogs. That's what a wolf is, right? Oh, I think it's just about dawn. There we go. Beautiful. Ah, I, I actually, I just remembered something else I learned from the wiki. And that's, it's better to have a crowbar to fight the wolves if you just want to survive. The master of panicking. You started playing WoW, played a pal and a hotkey divine shield all over and over. So you have a big panic button. <laughs> uh, how did that work out for you, pal? Let's grab this crowbar. I'm going to do something stupid. I think I think I want to risk it cuz let's see how it goes. I'm going to drop the gun. That's a it's a lot of weight. Um Let's have a little rock pile over here. All right. And we've got the meat. Let's pick up some of the older meat and eat that first. So it's it's good not to be overburdened. How good? I, I don't know. I would assume it helps you avoid getting sprained ankles. Um, but as your condition deteriorates, you get less and less max strength. And so you can carry less and less and less. All right, we've got a piece of meat here. It's only 90 calories. I'm dropping it. Let's drop some of the water. Uh, we're going to be really light on our feet. 21 pounds. Keepers still like to be smashed with heavy panic this. Fair enough. Oh, we haven't, we didn't drink yet. No, let's grab it up. Okay. 
Okay, that's fine. So we've got um, our crowbar. That's what we're going to use to kill the wolves. The wolves are going to attack us if, if, if we can't run away and use a crowbar. I'm going to also try... Oh, I forgot to get a torch from the fire. Well, I, I'll try using the flare. I'm going to grab a book to start a fire. 24 pounds. That's perfect. Let's see how the weather is. It's going to be like a blizzard outside. 80%, 94%. This, this is the one that's going to take a while. All right, it's really cold. Let's, um, let's try to read one hour. We, we didn't need to do that outside. I don't know why I always want to do that outside. The bag is made from moose. Um, we haven't even seen a moose. They're pretty rare in this game. The moose is like a honey badger. Like the hide is really sick. Is that not the word in German? I mean, does that not translate well? Cured? Yeah, yeah, we need the bag to carry more stuff. It's only six pounds, but six pounds is is good. it's nice. Well, it's kind of chilly. It's kind of chilly outside. I could put on the deer pants. Let's let's see what the actual temperature is. Oh my god, I can't see anything. All right, we're not going anywhere when it's this cold and this uh... I love the birds. Um, this hard to see. We we can't go anywhere. Um, I'm just going to look up on this hill. There's <coughs> there's often little sticks. No sticks today. So I, it's honestly, it's so hard to see. I can imagine getting lost in this field. Um, everything's white, you know. It's not really anything I can do. So let's head inside. Only heard it in a healing way, like cure wounds or something. In Germany, it would be more like dry, tan, or weather. So, um, I, the word is very commonly used with meats. You cure meats when you smoke them or you rub salt on them and, and let them dehydrate. It's called curing. And I imagine it's the same with the, the hide. We need a new house. We're, so, my hope is to move. I want to move to a new area. I feel like we've played in this one. Um, but we're not going to do it until we make some some of these clothes. Because we can't carry all this uh, weight. Um, I, I guess let's pass the time by reading the skill book again. We'll give it another hour. We're warmed up. Let's eat a piece of meat off the ground. Or two of them. This, the rabbit doesn't have a whole lot of calories. Wait, I have rabbit on me? Oh. So when you don't finish it, it puts it in your inventory. Okay. 
ground beef. Yeah, I love that. That's so funny. Ground beef. It's perfect, too. I mean, it's... Jesus. The weather's not cooperating. Looks like a truck drove over that meat. I think it's supposed to be grill marks, right? But you're right. It, do, it looks like uh, tire treads. Well, it's gotten warmer. It's It looks like it's maybe 1130 or something. Um, so maybe instead of reading, I'll actually go sleep an hour to get our rest up. And then maybe I, I really want to head to that tower again. That seems like a good adventure. Don't tell anyone. I mean, I'd eat it anyway. Um, those pieces of meat are going quick. We don't have a whole lot left. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I agree. I agree. That's that's a real oversight, Lurker. The, the gloves. I mean, you can see... Jesus. You can see her dressed up here. But... It would be cool if you if you see it when she does stuff. All right, so it's it's warm. It's it's like at freezing. But the problem is I can't even see the tower, right? There's no way. I can't even see the railroad from here. So what should we do? Can you see your feet? Can't see your feet. But, you make footsteps. So, that's kind of cool. Um, I was saying the other day that I've gotten lost before and tried to follow my footsteps back. Sometimes it works, but sometimes you just get... Sometimes you just get um, stuck in a circle following them. You get really lost. Ah, uh, th there's nothing, nothing that we can do that's not super dangerous. I'll, I'll just take a look over here. I don't think there's, there's never anything here. We have to go out on the lake, but I can't see it, so I think that's a bad idea. <clears throat> All right, let's read another hour, see if the weather clears up. It's it's getting a little bit late in the day. But maybe we'll go to the dam instead of the tower. <clears throat> Sprain your wrist because uh, you don't have any ankles. Actually, you can sprain your ankles too. We we just uh, <clears throat> we just managed to sprain our ankles. The other day we sprained both. All right, it's a little. We learned about ice fishing by reading that book. It's a little bit brighter out. So theoretically, we could make it to the dam and spend the night there. I think we've read all the skill books we know about. I mean, that we have. So we could try to make it to the dam and, and get stuff that we missed before. <clears throat> we have a crowbar. So I'm going to pick up the bag and the lantern. Wait. 
doesn't have a lot of fuel. Hold on, let me just check this other one. Uh, the fuel actually... has weight. We're still under 30 pounds though, that's pretty good. This is a little bit dangerous. Well, sounds like a sushi dish. I guess so, kind of, yeah. Um, all right, I'm going to bring a piece of wood because I don't have a hatchet. These are things that we can drop without feeling too bad. We're going to try to go to the dam with no gun. Is that a terrible idea? I mean, kind of, yeah. Let, I just I want to try the thing where we don't shoot them. The problem is uh, they just will not let up. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, I've got the gun. If the bear shows up, the bear the bears don't usually attack unprovoked. You've got to be a pain in the ass to, to get the bear to to attack you. They'll defend their territory, <clears throat> but they won't really come after you. The wolves are just berserk. And if you just are alive, they want you dead. So we're going to make the same walk that we made last night when we found the... We found the wolf. We found the deer carcass. And um, we turned around. Because of the, the weight of the hides and the meat. We usually see wolves here, but I don't see anything, so. Um. <laughs> the last time I played was a few months ago. And I had gotten kind of arrogant and thought that I was uh, invincible. And so I decided to kill a bear. And I shot him, and he didn't die. He was charging me. So I shoot him again on the way, you know. He didn't die. Um, and he mauls me. And. I'm barely alive, and he just sort of walks off. And <clears throat> and I thought, well, surely he's almost dead. I've hit him twice. Oh, fuck. Brain to ankle, laceration. This is not bad, honestly. I mean, the the crowbar really seemed to work well. But I wasted the bullet. 
And we didn't kill the wolf. And he ran off in the direction that we want to go. Oh shit. <laughs> Fucking shit! I think I shot right over his head. God, okay, now we're about to die. No, 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 don't go this way. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Oh, shit. Okay, let's, um... <clears throat> oh, no. Yeah, that's smart. The, the bear. I mean, the wolf. Oh, fuck. The wolf is, like, nearby still. So I'm losing blood. Infection risk, sprained ankle. Um, okay, antiseptic. Antiseptic. So all we have is a sprained ankle. Um, we're not going to the dam today, folks. Wow. After that first attack, I was like, man, this crowbar is great. He ran off. We still have 80% health or something. That's that uh, second attack. He was not having it. Um, but I think I think we're okay. We'll, we wasted two bullets, which kind of sucks. But it's not the end of the world. <laughs> I've actually, it's funny because yesterday I was hitting a lot of really good shots. Um, I killed a deer from like across a field in one shot, a headshot. But it's, it's, it's a whole different situation when the wolf is like attacking you. And you can't control the situation. So, like, if there's, you know, hills or he's coming at you like this, it's, it's, it's harder. Oh, God, we're sort of safe. We need to rest. 15% <clears throat> health. When you get to zero, you die. Um... I, I think we're, we're okay. I'm going to make a couple more bandages. Um, how much antiseptic do we have? We don't have a whole lot of antiseptic left. But we have some in stock, so let's... Let's grab another bottle. Put that in there. Wow. So let's think about what, what happened here. <clears throat> she's she's a real drama queen um, so the wolf charged 
the first the first wolf. I, I assume it's the same wolf, but I don't really know. You can't get anywhere because of wolves. Yeah, that seems to be the case. The first wolf charged. We missed. Used the crowbar, fought her off. He, I think he just decided to leave. Like, it's random chance or something. And he decided to leave early. And we're pretty good. The problem is, he didn't go very far. Alright, our ankles... Our ankles batter. We have no afflictions. Um, we're regenerating health. Problem is we're almost we're almost not tired, so we won't be able to sleep for the rest of the night. I guess we can make another fire. And then more water. Alright, when I make this fire, I'm gonna pull out. Oh my god, I can't see shit. We're going to pull out a lot of torches. Now you can craft torches, but it takes like fuel and cloth and stuff. It's much easier to pull them out of the fire. They come out not in good quality, but I think it'll be fine for a wolf. Um, potbelly stove. Oh, potbelly stove. Stick. Where are you? Can't see shit. So here's the workbench, right? No, that's not the workbench. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, that's the workbench. What am I stuck on? It's right here. All right, I give up. I finally give up. I don't want to waste fuel. I don't give up. Could light a match. Okay, yeah, I was I was pretty lost. It's really dark. Um So maybe maybe if we had instead of on, trying to shoot it, if we had lit a lit a torch you know, we could have gotten through there. Like, may maybe not being aggressive is a better approach. Maybe. Especially when you can't uh, land shots. <sighs> Alright. So... Put in a fair number of sticks. Kind of get running low on cedar. I'll put in some fur. Ah, uh, beautiful. Jesus Christ. Bad See, we're almost out of that meat. I think there's only two more pieces left outside.
<clears throat> we might have to spend tomorrow just resting. Those are all 100%. I can't see the shelves. Better club that whoops down. I have to click faster, I guess. <laughs> I feel like I was clicking as fast as I could. All right, let's uh, let's throw some. Well. First, let's melt the snow and see what's up, and then maybe add some more wood. <clears throat> Don't want to be caught without water. It's so dark. There used to be meat there. Maybe we ate it all. So here goes this meat. Okay. I'm going to... Add the fur. All right, let's see how this works. We take a torch. It's at 2.30. Now I put it away. How do you stop? Stop burning. Oh, God. Oh, God. Don't. She's going to She's going to burn down the house. Um... It's at 215, that's not bad. Alright, so take torch. Um, click. Put it away. Take torch. Click. Put it away. Okay, got it. Take torch. Click. Put it away. Let's, um, let's get one more. So these should say like shitty quality, yeah. But it's enough. I think it's enough to give you a few a few minutes. Um, and it's pretty easy to make these, so. All right, let's make a little bit more water. Don't know why the sea burn is so important for us in the future. Uh, I kind of... I really felt like the house was going to burn down, but I don't think that's how this game works. She just threw a torch on the ground. What are the chances that when a wolf attacks, I, A, light the torch successfully, and B, don't throw it behind me? <clears throat> I think uh, probably pretty low. Oh, there's there's the man. I'm not sure I can carry much more. All right, let's drop. Um... Drop the good stuff. Oh, okay. Double clicking eats. I did not mean to do that. I'm 
get you give a forty percent. I think I think only time will tell. All right, let's put a bunch of that down. So we've got a nice supply of water. We're back to feeling pretty comfortable, I think. We have a buttload of torches. Let's let's put some of them away. We don't need all of them. Let's keep uh, let's keep two of them. And now, see, here's the nice thing about flares is that they always light. Doesn't take a match, but they only work once. You have this in some professional gamesman. Pale, you give me too much credit. Um, let's try the torches. I'll keep one flare because we don't really know what we're dealing with here. Um, and I need to get more matches, because if I have to light up torches, we need matches. That's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good as far as I'm concerned. Um, all right, then... Let's see what the weather's like. We can't go out very far. I just want to do something tiring so that we can come back in and sleep a bit. We, we've got to sleep to recuperate. It's actually pretty, pretty cold. Um, maybe the right way to do this is actually not to get tired today. But we're out of stuff to read. And I, I don't know, we could go fishing. I love those birds. Oh, it's really cold. Um. Let's make a let's make a fishing hook and and give it a thought. So to go fishing requires us to go down to the little fishing huts. Um, you have to break a hole in the ice, or or I think set a fire, and then you have to fish, and that takes time. Um, let's let's make a couple fishing lines at least. So we need some hooks. Oh, we need scrap metal, which we have a very small amount of. Nice thing about fishing hooks and fishing line is that it's very light. Much better than carrying around. Uh, sewing kits. Alright, how do you make fishing? Here we go, fishing tackle. Our health looks like it's up to about 40%. Um, I'm not going into any adventures until we get that higher. So many police cars in this forest. It's it's magical, really, isn't it? The sound. Hey, is that that's two wolf pelts? Three. Oh, and this one's ninety-five. We actually have an extra wolf pelt. That's how. That's how shitty the wolves have been. So maybe let's gather the the, the cured stuff. 
Okay, we might have something to do today after all. So... We have, we have the rabbit belt. Be secured. That's a that's a great sound. <clears throat> Oops. All right, I think I'm carrying all of the cured stuff. Um and everything else that's on the ground is still is still drying. So let's make some gloves. I'm gonna get an actual uh, sewing kit because they work more quickly than using fishing tackle. There it is. Rabbit skin, rabbit skin mitts. Handcrafted mitts. They may make you clumsy, but they're very warm. Kind of like wearing a rabbit on your hands. Okay, fair enough. Um, it only takes five hours. And so fashionable. Uh, we'll be the bell of the ball. Let's just do the last three. I think we can do it all in one go here. Beautiful. Doesn't sound nice. Doesn't sound nice outside. So let's compare here. Or let's see how we do it. So we've got. What do you guys see? Okay. So you see everything. Oh, you see everything actually. There's nothing below my picture. It's just blank. So um, our mittens are not very warm. These are super warm. These don't have wind resistance. These have lots of wind resistance. These get wet. These don't get wet. These are pretty amazing. The only downside is that they're like 10 times heavier. But, uh, but look how stylish. Super cool. So now we've got the pants. And we've got the mitt mittens. Wearing gloves makes you slower. Another point for the steam reviews. <laughs> yeah, I guess it kind of makes sense because they're heavier, but then it should just be based on weight. Um, I love the little rattle where you hear it rattling the windows. The sound in this game is fantastic. All right, let's put up Let's put up that. Um, we also don't need all three of these fishing tackle. Uh, unless we go fishing. Is your hands walk, don't you? How else would you do it? Pretty late in the day. I think if we maybe just do a couple of things, it'll be a good time to go to sleep. Um, let's tear down some stuff we haven't torn down. Uh, 
Is there anything we haven't torn down? Oh, also we need to organize our hides here. Uh, maybe I'll move the rock pile. Alright, so we'll do... Wolvies. Let's do... Gutses. Two deers. Beautiful. Uh, you remember the Ministry of Silly Walks? None of us use their hands. I mean, whose fault is that, Pale? Did we, did we really tear down? Oh, here's something. complaining because she's tired. Oh, I got mauled by a wolf and I'm so tired. Ugh. Oh, the wolf's always mauling me. Oh. Sexual mounting? Oh, I don't know about that. It... Maybe out of context. Well, it's still not really very late. Oh, there's a chair. Uh, the, it, the best part about this game, sexually speaking, is that your character is completely alone. Um, which sounds like an ideal experience. Alright, I, I think we're ready for bed. It's a little early. But she can probably spend some time resting in the morning and get the rest of her condition back. So let's, let's go ahead and hit the sack, as they say, which takes on a different meaning in the context of this conversation. But Eighteen days, six hours. Uh, I'm a little bit proud of that. A little bit. This is honestly just like I sleep at night. I wake up every three hours and, and drink something. Okay, so, see, we're not tired now. This is what I was trying to avoid. Um, what we can do is wait. Oh, actually, let's test this. Our health is at 79. So let's wait for an hour and, and see how much it goes up just waiting. Not a lot. Uh, it went up 1%. 1 Sleeping is really the way to go. Uh, can you build catapults for fast traveling in the end game context? Yes. Actually, that is one of the things that they've implemented in the last patch. Um, they, they've, they've, they're thinking about renaming the game to the Long Arc. Uh, let's see, can I sleep yet? 
All right. She she got tired of resting, and so now she's gonna sleep. Come on, Dawn. There you go. So, it, it scares me to go out not at 100%, but it's pretty high. This doesn't sound like the weather's very nice anyway. Oh, these saplings. Uh, we'll put them here. Uh, the rocks? Maybe we'll keep rocks outside. They're not allowed in. Oh, okay. Let's eat our fill. We are running dangerously low on food. I'll see this as bear catapults for self defense. The German comedian once said there's just one more thing, one thing more lethal than flying bears. Flying bears with more axes. That, what is, what? Why? Why would somebody say that? I thought you were going to say there's only one thing more dangerous than flying through the air in a catapult landing. That's what I was expecting. Can bears even hold war axes? They don't have thumbs. The whole thing just doesn't make any sense, Bill. <clears throat> Alright, look at our stats. We're like the king or queen of, uh, of being taken care of. What? gonna do with the storm oh great god it's insanely cold negative 20 degrees out feels like three um can't see We need to spend a little bit more time indoors. What are we waiting for with these hides? I think the wolf hide, right? So that's it. So we can make we can make the wolf um, coat. So. Climb small trees, even. Street nice Guess if you show them how they could. Maybe. All right. Look at this. So we can make um, make the, the coat. It's very warm, but it's six pounds. Also takes twenty five hours to make. Uh, we're we're kind of running out of food. We have to make it somewhere to get more food. Let's see how the weather is after this. It'll be about noon. Oh, 
Oh, it's cold. But at least the wind's not blowing. So these two little pieces of meat, I think each one's like 350 calories. I don't know what that is in metric calories, but uh, it's not a lot in American calories. <laughs> uh, they're not supersized rabbits for sure. So it kind of makes me want to really get somewhere that has food. We could go back to that path where we just fought the wolf and empirical. I, I'm just, I'm just kidding. I mean, there are kilocalories versus calories, like a physicist's calorie or a chemist's calorie is different than dietary calories, which is kilocalorie. Um. Yeah, I think it's probably a bad idea to sit at home and make that wolf pelt. I feel like we should go somewhere. If we go back to the dam, yeah, we'll probably find some cattails on the way. But there's not going to be a whole lot of food. All right, let's, uh, but I, I think that's our best bet. I mean, we have emergency stuff in the locker. We have um, some MREs. Um, and stuff like that. Go ahead and get travel ready. Uh, we're just about, I think, it's just about it. Um, you know the difference between kill a, kill a jewel? No, not kill a jewel. So, um, Like, like when a candy bar has 300 calories in it, it's actually 300 kilocalories. 300,000 calories. Uh, it's, it's like, it's like what everybody, it's like if, if everybody called kilometers meters. For, for whatever reason, that's how it works in dietary terms. Uh, all right. Should we leave the gun? The gun didn't really help us last time. So heavy. Um, alternatively, we can go hunting and, and try to find a deer nearby. I think the deer has a lot of food on it, like 20 pounds of food. <laughs> of food. I like that the idea is he's carrying around like McDonald's. And you just take his McDonald's from him. Um, he he's has something like 20 pounds of meat. Which, honestly, I bet on a real deer it's way more than that. What, what am I doing? Alright, so if we carry the gun... You see, the thing is, if we carry the gun, I'm going to be tempted to use it instead of using the... Instead of using the... Um, Flares.
All right, it's a little bit chilly. It's a little bit wet. But I'm going to try to get to the dam. Um, one of the first places we went, and but we left a bunch of stuff there, including some uh, boots. But I guess the boots aren't super useful now because we can totally make totally make boots. Uh, so our main objective, I think, is just to look for cattails. Um, of which there are a lot near the dam. What am I going to do if I see a deer? What am I going to do if I see a wolf? So far, so good. This is where we found the wolf last time, right here. So there's going to be rabbits up here, but I don't think I'm going to attack them because they give off smell. Oh, uh, look, that's the rope that we saw from the top. So that goes here. So if we climbed up there, maybe that's a slightly safer way to come. Um, in case, in case uh, you weren't here yesterday, the, the cairns are basically for the backers. They have the option to put a little message there, I think. And they're all hidden across the land. Some of them in really obscure places. Well, it's so peaceful until it isn't. All right, this is not where we want to go, but I'm going to walk up here just a little bit to look for cattails. I think there should be some. These are each 150 calories and last forever. So no smell, sight, no hearing. They don't give off any noise. really sure where this goes. Alright, that's as far as I'm going to go down. Um, this other way, going around this rock, I'm pretty sure takes you to the, to the dam. Still bearable. Uh, 
to hug this rock, I'm actually warming up. Alright, so here's where we found the wolf. Speak of the devil, it's another wolf. Oh, it's chasing a rabbit. That's perfect for us because when it's eating the rabbit, it's not eating us. So, this is where we spent the night last night. And, um, surrounded by pitch black. <clears throat> I mean, last night in real life. Snuck past him. Masters of Stealth. Okay. What's next? Been reading about how fat deer are, huh? Uh, Forty pounds of meat. No survival situation. You'll get more. All right. These can be used to make bandages. meat per deer. I, so a deer 30 to 36 kilograms. How many pounds is 36 kilograms? Because that doesn't seem like very much. That's like 80 pounds, right? I feel like deer would be more like 300 pounds. Like 150 kilo. So we saw the bridge. I glimpsed it. There it is again. Weather's holding steady. Beautiful. So this is the river that is, I think, just covered in cattails. A stag can go up to 300 pounds? Oh, I see. Um, all right, so we're going to clean this river of cattails and then head to the dam probably spend the night, but if we're fast enough, maybe we can actually make it back. Didn't realize how little they are, how f light um, deer. Oh, he's got a knife. Thank you for your knife. Um, there's no random maps, but there are about, I don't know, 10 maps. They're very big in total. Um, all of the item placement is random. So, you know, you'll generally find, like, the same kinds of stuff in the same kinds of places, like in a bathroom of a um, of a lodge, you know, you'll find some bandages, and you'll find some socks, probably towels, but it's all it's all random.
Um, I, I really wish it had random maps, but at the same time, it's really difficult when you don't know where you're going. So part of the game is kind of learning the maps. Because it's really hard to explore. You get caught in a storm and lost and you die. But maybe we'll head to a map I don't know after. Um, after we finish making our clothes. And we'll see how exploration goes. So see how many of these there are? It's kind of crazy. Um, we're going to be able to eat. Don't want to eat them, but they're, they're emergency food for a long time. Oh shit, it's a wolf. So, it's a wolf straight ahead. <sighs> Do we flee? Like a coward? Do we engage like a warrior? What do you do when a wolf stands between you and a cat tail. Um, so, I, I have. I've heard of people eating cattails. I, I'm not sure, but I think you eat the root. Or something like that. Uh, the tuber. I'm sure you can find information on that. But, uh, I had a copy of the Boy Scout manual. And uh, it talked about eating them. I really, I really want to go get more wolf tails. I mean, cat tails. Take the wolf tail. So I don't see the wolf, but you know he's here. I've crouched down. I'm not going to risk anymore. I think he maybe went to the left, but I don't even know. So that's not the food part, that's the that's the fluff or the tinder. Um, which was kinda heavy, so I dropped it, dropped it. The food in the game are called stalks, I think. We have forty one of them. Sounded like left, yeah, I thought so. So, we're going to try to come up around this bridge and go, go on it. 
these can be turned into antibiotics. All right, here's where we had wolf problems like that first day. All right, let's hop in here. Oh, shit. Let's hop in here and revisit. See if there's any lockers um, or boxes we couldn't see. I remember being kind of terrified and maybe wasn't in the best frame of mind. I don't see anything. So basically, a wolf had us pinned in here, I think. So we're going to try to cross to that trailer. I'm going to pick up these useful mushrooms. Oops, these useful mushrooms. So far, so good. Um, quench our thirst at least. So it looks like we managed to search this stuff. Oh! Aha! This anymore. Oh, look at that! So usually the lockers that are locked have better stuff in them. Um, a long, heavy down coat. More suitable to urban survivalists, but the extra length might help keep your kidneys warm. It's, uh, it's beautiful. Let's see how that looks. Oh, it's a slot we don't even have filled. So that's just like instant two two degrees warmer, um, and it it's, it might go up to I don't know four degrees because we haven't repaired it. So that's a great find. Doesn't look like there's anything else in here. Um, it's not very late in the day. So I'm still not sure whether we're going to stay here or try to head back today. But uh, let's head to the dam. And we gave this area a look around before, but again, we're in a different state of mind now, so. Um, you can tear down these pallets and get a lot of wood. It's uh, pretty labor intensive. I think you, if, you, if you have a hammer, it helps. So we dragged most of the stuff in this place up to this room. I, I don't even remember what was what we left. Um, some, some little useful. So these work boots are what I was remembering. These are kind of useful. Didn't even leave the torch. I mean, we didn't take the torch even though we should have. Heavy. 
So here's what I'm thinking. I'm gonna tear down some of these shitty clothes. Oh. <laughs> I was like, where did we get a new wolf skin coat? This is like the um, the in progress coat. Uh, it says zero pounds. So. Um, I was going to tear down some of these things to get a little cloth, uh, and then try to repair that coat. See how long it takes. It takes three cloth. It takes an hour and a half, but it's for a beginner. Okay. Um, we might try that. So let's see if there's any easy to get lockers that we didn't open. Oops. I know that there's some downstairs, but I'm not sure I'm willing to find them. empty. Um, Word you've never seen in that is how can you harvest a baseball cap? Well, if you had to pick one word for the thing that you do to things to get their resources, I feel like harvest is a pretty good word. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, I mean, you know the. Do you, I mean, do you use the word for other things, or are you just not familiar with the word? Because, like, certainly you'd harvest a field, right? You'd harvest a. a, a um, a wheat field. But you'd harvest, you know, a bed of oysters. And... Oh, we left a bunch of stuff. In agriculture, I see. Yeah, so you definitely harvest, like, a, a bed of oysters. Um, you might harvest a fish pond, you know, that kind of stuff. That's pretty similar to agriculture. But I would also say you... Like if I were to, if I were to take something apart and, and get it, like take a computer apart maybe and, and get all the useful stuff out of it, I might say harvest a computer. Uh, I might also use the word cannibalize, actually. I might say you cannibalize the computer to get it to get the, the few pieces that are working. Dismantle. Yeah. Dismantle is very sterile. Dismantle, it feels like when you dismantle, you take it apart very carefully. I think I can use this. Ooh. And you make sure that you can put it back together. Whereas harvest means, you know, you get rid of the shit. Man, that was a good find. 
Um, all right, we're pretty heavy. I think that's I think that's it for the easily accessible lockers. Uh, a tear apart just sounds destructive. It doesn't. It doesn't suggest that you're trying to get useful resources out of it. So yeah, har harvest. It's definitely borrowed from agriculture, but I feel like I feel like nobody would even question it at this point. It just makes sense. All right, let's look at what we've got here. So we've got uh, trail boots, we've got work boots, and we've got insulated boots which are very warm. These aren't even repaired. Um, definitely going to be wearing those. A learning stream. Uh, yeah, learn, learn a horrible version of English with sucrose. So these are warmer, a little bit more protection. It slows you down. A little heavier, um, but I, I like them. Those, those are, those are good. We don't want to replace those. So I think we've made ourselves quite a bit warmer than before. Jeans are decent. Well, we're going to repair them. We're going to repair this stuff. So I think we can make it home. That's what I'm going to try to do. So we have to decide what to drop. We need to we need to drop a lot of stuff, which is kind of funny because the whole purpose of coming out here was to get stuff. But Maybe, maybe I don't need the books. I guess I don't need the work boots after all. We found insulated boots, which I think are better. Um, Jeans, I think I'm gonna leave. Um, I'll leave one of the torches. These arrows are so light, but the thing is, is we're not gonna be using. We're not going to be fixing these anytime soon, probably. I don't know. Maybe. I guess I'll take them. Bye-bye, decent jeans. Sorry, Pale. Oh, you're breaking my heart, Pale. Um, so that's barely underweight. Well, it's not now because we're getting tired. Gonna eat the condensed milk. All right, now the dangerous trick back. It's warm. This ability is decent. How do we go? Do we take the bridge? To go back the way we came? No, because the same calories as a wolf. Well, a piece of a wolf, right? To be fair, to be fair. All right, I, I'm going to try the train track. 
this we've seen a lot of wolves a lot of wolves but you know what there's fucking wolves everywhere man. what am I gonna do Okay, couldn't light it in time. Um, all right, we're gonna head away from that wolf. Very quickly pop in here. That, I thought we were going to die. Um, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Okay. So we're losing blood right now. And that's taking, um, you know, the last little bits of health we have. Sprained wrist? Oh, that's a sprained wrist. I don't think we need that. So, yeah, she's she's not doing so hot. Um, instead of trying anything fancy, I'm gonna, just going to spend resources. So we're going to apply an aseptic. An aseptic. And now she, she, all she has is a sprained wrist. Um... Is there a bed in here? So that wolf was just not going to take no for an answer. Um, I think I think we're okay. All we have is a sprained wrist. I'm going to go for a little sleep and, and see if this goes up. Holy crap. That wolf came right around that little corner and just would not leave us alone. Um... Luckily, you know, we have, I should have used wound dressing, but I, th I think we're okay. Um, yeah, it looks like we're healing. Wow. Wow. Things go from being so rosy to dire in the blink of an eye. All right, we're cured of our afflictions, but we have 15% health. We're guaranteed, though, that we will make a recovery as long as we rest at this point. Um, we didn't get any infections or anything like that. Wow. 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 So, I feel like that fight went on forever and that... The wolf. I don't know. I mean, why didn't the wolf leave us alone? <laughs> like, it was hard to click. You know what I mean? It's like 
if you've ever played Mike Tyson's Punch Out or something like that, it's like, you know, sometimes the game isn't just, it's just not going to let you get up. And I felt like it wasn't going to let me get the bar up. Um, <laughs> why, did, why did the wolf cross the road, pal? I don't know why. Is it worth it trying to to head out to do something? God, it's so dark out here I can't see anything anyway. To get to the other side, you guess? Well, I... <laughs> I think the point of the joke is that it's not funny. Like it's an unjoke. Um, all right, she repaired. Starting to feel numb. Oh, come on. Um, it's like, I, I don't know. A lot of my favorite jokes are not jokes. It's like the, I, I can't do it on Twitch. It doesn't work. But do you know the joke, the uninterrupting, uh, the interrupting cow joke? The knock knock joke. Um, all right, we're gonna harvest this. Wait, shouldn't this give us fuel? I think it does give us fuel. Let's hope it gives us fuel. Yeah. Okay. Can we sleep another hour? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I really like that, Jeff. Um, and it's funny because it messes up what knock-knock jokes are meant to be, you know? All right, we're above 50%, but... If we had been attacked at this health, we would have died. So, um, we learned some things. We learned that it takes a little bit of time to light the torch. I don't think I would have been able to shoot him though, even if I had my gun out, because he came he came around the corner too quickly. I, I I hope not. I'm going to be careful. I'm going to be careful. Is there anything else we can repair? I thought we had, I guess, just these boots. Um, well, I can. Oops. So we have these trail boots. I think we should keep a pair of them because they're lighter. Uh, 
Oh, this parka. That's what. That's really what we want to do. So, it takes three cloth. Could have sworn I had the scarf, but maybe I left the scarf in the locker. Uh, they're decent. Yeah, I think it. I think it goes new, decent. You know, worn, something like that. Uh, it does. It is kind of funny, right? Because it's. It seems to reflect on its. Uh, yeah, I, I. It's hard to say. Instead of reflecting on its condition, it seems to be reflecting on its like. Some other kind of quality. Uh, I didn't. I, uh, Yeah, yeah. Exactly. So, I don't have anything to eat other than these cattails, which the whole point was to get these for, like, emergencies. But maybe this is an emergency. I feel like I should rest up more. That would be the prudent thing to do. Yeah, I can't, yeah. But I could do something to, to get tired. So, uh, I Obviously, the other alternative, the unspoken alternative, is to try to make my way back. Maybe, maybe through the river. Oh God. Um, I'm gonna go grab a little more water from this locker and maybe a couple of pieces of cloth. I think there's a scarf in here uh, and repair this coat. That'll take some time and um, we can try leaving you know after afternoon-ish in a slightly better condition. So let's grab just some for, for now. Here's a scarf. Uh, I don't think... I'm not sure we have the cloth, right? We only have two pieces of cloth. Is there any more cloth in here? I don't think there's curtains in the dam. So I'd have to tear apart the, the jeans. Um, I'm going to do it. I feel like we have enough pants now that, that these jeans aren't so important. Uh, not repair, sorry. Okay. This will give us one shot at repairing the parka. Eat till she's above halfway.
All right. This um, this may fail. We lose the cloth. Oh yeah, lucky, lucky, lucky. So it's a decent. It's decent. Uh, it doesn't have so many patches. Um, uh, we can also take. Oh, it takes cloth and leather. You can live with this. You can live with the parka. I'm, I'm glad, Dale. Um, man, we're at 56%. All right, I'm going to tear apart these boots to get the leather. Decent park is fine. A lot of people wear these fancy parka jacket things in the city. Um, not sure what I think about it. All right, let's let's make our way back just to the trailer, and we'll sleep. Maybe, maybe get up to 60%. And then we have to try to remember how to go backwards. The problem is the only way that I really know how to do it is... is on the train track. That's why I picked that path. Evil Bubble Man from 80 sci -fi. That's pretty accurate, yeah. Pretty accurate. And everybody's wearing the same $1,000 jacket. I don't understand. All right. Um, this, might, this might make it too late, actually. So we'll drop some sticks. All right, we've got 10 pounds of uh, room to play with. As we get tired, I think we can still make it back. The weather's decent. Good visibility, though. So I think it's this way? this way. I think, I think it's this way. Because when we came, we saw the bridge. And we had to go on to the river. So our health is maybe, what, 70%? Wolf took us from a hundred percent to fifteen percent. Fuck that wolf. All 
All right, this is the field with the wolf in it. Yep, yep, yep. He was eating a rabbit. But I don't see. I do see a rabbit. But I do not see Mr. Wolf. Um, we searched that uh, hunter's blind last night, in case you're wondering. Okay, I'll cross over to this side to get a better angle. Um, this is where we got attacked by the wolf, where I missed him twice, just up here, where I shot and missed. The wolf is running away from something. So there's a wolf on top of that ridge who sounded like he was running. Maybe he was chasing something. Either way, fuck. Let's hope there's no more because now I smell, and so they're going to be coming from an even longer distance. And it's already insane. It's a, it's a deer. Um, not going to be shooting that. Oh lordy! It's such a strange little game shooting the wolves because the closer you let them get to you, the less likely you are to miss. But if you wait too long, they're on top of you. Now one thing I would like, a change that I would like about this game is, is once you kill a wolf, that wolf is gone. That's what I would, how I would prefer. Is it, then it would feel really like, all right, well, I may have wasted a bullet, but at least, at least I've made the area a little safer. But they, they respawn. I think we've, I think we've made it back safe and sound. A little scare there with the 
the wolf. Uh, but now we've got some meat. I wonder if it's too dark to make a fire uh, outside. So if we use um, the magnifying lens, chance of success zero. Okay, it doesn't take a match if you use a magnifying lens. All right, that'll last us another. Oh my God! It's this one right next to the house. This mode is ridiculous. Its game is going to get pretty interesting when I run out of bullets. I think there's more down there, but I can't, I can't find it. So, uh, off to bed. Actually, we can't. Um, we're not very tired. We slept most of the morning. So, so what I'm going to try to do... Well, let's put some stuff away, I suppose. Actually, repair those arrows. Well, you can't repair them. You can get the um, arrowheads off and reuse them. I don't think we have the right branches, the right saplings to make arrows. So I'll put. Uh, Skin down, another wolf skin. That'll help us repair if we need to. And speaking of repairing, what I'd like to do is, is maybe head outside. I'll take it. Huh. We found something in the dark that I couldn't find in the light. There we go. Um, there was a hook sitting on the bench. So we'll do a little repair stuff outside. Try to repair maybe these shoes. Uh, it's not too cold. The mushrooms will try to turn into so-and-sos. Convert those to bandages. Oh, 
it's not. It's not too cold. It might be too dark. Oh, I think I, I, I know what's happening. All right, back inside to get another thing here. Um, these, it's taking so long to repair this stuff because we don't have um, a sewing kit. Instead, we've got We've got a um, fishing hook. So I'll grab a sewing kit. I think it works in like half the time. That's not where I thought it was. Let's try that again. Okay. Yeah, see, the time goes from an hour and a half to two and a half hours. Hey, Just BRB. How's it going, man? All right. Think you finally fixed your PC? Uh, what was wrong with it? Let's, let's repair them again. Back to Windows 7. Oh, I miss Windows 7. I miss Windows 7 a lot. Beautiful, beautiful. We're only half tired, so just going to keep doing stuff. Just got used to NS10. I still haven't gotten used to NS10. I've been using it for. I don't know, six months maybe? Maybe a little less. Maybe five months, something. I hate it. It sucks. It's always doing stupid things. Isn't this just... this? Now, this style I can really get behind. You've got the cargo pants, which I, which I like, right? You've got the, um, the rubber boots. Big fan of practical boots. Uh, mittens made out of a rabbit. It's basically like putting your hands inside of two rabbits. Set everything up like it's not. Yeah, I can't stand it. it all the stuff, it, everything it does is stupid. These boots are really warm. Hey, little Lucy Lou. Oh, I didn't even realize that was you. I thought it was just BRB. What's going on, little Lucy Lou? I haven't seen you in a while. So we've got every slot except for our second ear slot and our second feet slot, our second uh, socks sock slot, uh, which is a dance that really never caught on. Sock slot. Uh, studying are is your are your finals on sur wilderness survival? <laughs> Uh, how to field dress a deer. Otherwise, I feel like uh, I feel like you're wasting time. All right, I think I'm gonna go ahead and sleep and try to make make it through to 
to morning. We've done a right good bit of work out here in the night. I need a 38 out of 100. To pass? Oh, for a B, okay. All right, upstairs, around the corner, follow the window. See, it's so easy. Uh, all right, bet, sleep. Oh, I'm really hungry. I just, I just ate a wolf steak. To pass, you need like a negative 10. That's a, that's a pretty good feeling. That, that kind of thing always helped me when I was stressed. I would calculate, you know, what's the worst that could happen? Let's give it four. We might run out of food. Uh, but, you know, does it even matter what you get? Because you've already gotten into your school, right? They're not going to they're not going to kick you out. Um, it's just about dawn. But I don't want to run out of food because then we won't heal up. So I'm going to um, head back down and I, I guess eat a soda or something, something from the fridge. You'd like not to get seized. Yeah, of course, of course. Um, well, that didn't really help too much. All right, I'm going to try to sleep the rest of the night. I mean, it's clearly dawn is breaking. Let's do... let's try three. Um, have you been here a while in Lucilu? Did you see all the crazy wolf action? Ni no kun? Uh, it doesn't, doesn't ring a bell. I don't know what that is. All right, 99%, deer hides cured. So we're almost up to 100% health. Um, I thought that was, I thought that was it. Jim Tim White talking about windows. Um, you missed, you missed the action. This game is a lot of like downtime and then a lot of action time and you just missed the action. Uh, we came very close to dying and uh, basically through luck we pulled through. Let's... We've got to cook some of that meat. Um, I guess let's start with that. We catch Pokemon-like creatures. The second one just came out and it was a letdown. Oh, I'm sorry. That sucks. When you like, um... When you're looking forward to something. Uh, let's cook all of this. Nice morning. Uh, what do you do with the creatures once you catch them? Oh, you know what? I think we we should cook it outside and um, save a match, since it's actually clear for once. Let's grab. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Let's grab some sticks and a piece of fur. They fight for me.
Where do we want to build a fire? Like shelter from the storm. If there if there is one. Uh, it follows you around, very similar to World of Final Fantasy. I do not know World of Final Fantasy. Um, I know World of Warcraft, and I know Final Fantasy, but I don't know World of Final Fantasy. I, I did like having a pet in World of Warcraft. <laughs> Well, the, it, it protects me from the wind, you see, so the fire doesn't go out if it starts blowing. And it makes it makes complete sense. Hey, you should have seen it earlier. I accidentally threw a lit torch inside of the house and scrambled to pick it up. It, it's not going to catch on fire, but it was kind of funny. Perfect. All right, let's put in a couple of Let's do. Let's start cooking some stuff. Did I play WoW when they introduced pet fights? No, I did not. That sounds crazy. Uh, sounds kind of interesting, though. Oh, we got better at cooking. We should check and see what what that. Uh, what that allows us, what that affords us. This game's fire is in state. No, it's not as dangerous as Don't Starve. Don't Starve is um, Don't Starve is evil, honestly. Oh my God! It's like, hey, let's have a wolf that is on fire and he's going to run into the middle of your base and when you kill him he's going to set your base on fire like how how is that fair god i thought about playing don't starve live on stream but i just think i would cry too much i don't i don't want to cry on film fires in the summer that kill i've never made it to summer little lucy Lou. jeez uh, you you must be an expert because I I've made it to the end of winter once. That's about as far as I've made it. I've actually uh, I've played two player, and I made it through winter, but only because she was carrying me. Um, I died like three times and resurrected. You know you can resurrect people. All right, let's eat. Can you beat the game in 100 days? Uh, I, 100 days is like 10 times the length of my games. <clears throat> I mean, I starve. I still, it's just like, like with oxygen not included, you know? I've gotten to the point where okay, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna suffocate usually, but with don't starve, I just starve. That's I'm I'm not even good enough not to starve. Uh, I don't I don't understand how to play the game. I think hardest one is the dark world. I don't even know what you're talking about. I have no idea what the dark world is. Uh, that sounds that sounds like a stage that I have not achieved. I didn't even know they were different worlds. Farm berries and then kill beefalo at night and dig up burrows. Catch rabbits at night. Why would you kill beefalo? They're adorable. Oh yeah, I forgot. It's little Lucy Lou. <laughs> I always get the beefalo to protect me. Isn't that what I want to do? The beefalo are my buddies. When the big bad, when the big bad wolves come, I run to the beefalo and they protect me. Well, at least sometimes they they protect me. Sometimes they all die. <laughs> uh, let's do. Let's try a hundred. Uh, One point two gallons. 
Jesus, we're almost through the day just cooking this food. Killed just enough, so you still have enough poop, poop and hair. I don't even... I feel like I've never had a use for hair. Look, see? Look at the wind. And my fire's still going. See? That's how, that's how you do it. That's how you do it. Oh, God. Why do you need hair for? Shave me flow. Shave me flow are not cute. Shave me flow are horrific. Oh, fucking shit! What the fuck? Why is there a wolf at the house? My heart is running, beating like a thousand m miles a second. Like a thousand bajillion. I feel like it's about to leap out of my chest. I, I've never, ever, ever had a wolf come to the, to the house. There's two wolves. There's two wolves. The wolf that attacked me, the wolf that attacked me went to the right and, and another's coming from the left. This game is a nightmare. I'm never playing on hard again. This is it. This is it for hard. Hard is too hard. Give me easy. I can I actually can feel that my blood pressure increased because I have a headache now. It's crazy. This game scares the shit out of me. <sighs> All right. Everything's fine because we're indoors. But we have to leave at some point. Shave beefalo. Okay, let's go back to what really matters. Shave beefalo are horrific abominations. And honestly, if I saw a shaved beefalo in, in real life, I would put it down. At least they can't break through the windows. For real. Um, I, I okay. So here's the only thing I can think that maybe what happened is the wolf was kind of close, right? He was like on the railroad track or something, and because we had the meat, maybe he was attracted to it to to me. Um. Which actually suggests a new dating strategy. Uh, clearly, carrying around <laughs> chunks of meat is attractive. Um, actually, that actually kind of works. Never mind, I take it back. That was a joke, but it's not really a joke. All right, let's put all this crap down. I'm. I think I'll calm down by sorting my inventory. Um, no, they're actually supposed to be afraid of the fire. So usually what will happen is the wolves will come, and if you have a fire, they'll kind of, just like you imagine in a storybook, they'll, like, circle you. They don't want to get close, but they're kind of, like, waiting for your fire to go out, and, and they will wait for your fire to go out, and then they'll kill you. Um... Yeah, so I don't... I think it was the meat. But... Who knows? What chest is this? Clothing. At least, um... At least he ran away quickly. I guess that's... I guess that's something. Drop some stuff. The fuel we'll put in here. 
Um, I should probably reload. I mean, get more bullets, because we've shot some. Hard mode wolves who love fire and evade gunshots. To be, I mean, I really thank you for saying evade gunshots, but the truth is I just can't aim. Um, honestly, I can't believe we've survived this long with these crazy wolves. The end is nigh. I, I can feel it. I, I think we've got to go and deal with these wolves that are near the house. It's getting late. Um, they learn to hunt in packs. The, the, the wiki claims that they don't hunt in packs, but I feel like they do. But maybe it's just, you know, trying to ascribe meaning... <laughs> Um, are you all stranded alone? Yeah, you're totally alone. There's no people. And basically your plane crashed, I think is the story. Your plane crashed. Um, none of the electricity works. Uh, everything is gone. Like, you'll find corpses, but everybody's, everybody's dead. Um, every once in a while, there'll be an aurora. And all the lights will start flickering and turning on. It's really creepy. So the story is that something apocalyptic happened with, like, electromagnetic waves or something. And it caused your plane to crash, and now you're the only one alive. That's basically it. But you can't radio for help or anything. Nothing, nothing works. Is it possible to win? No. <laughs> the only way to win is by not playing. Um, there, there are modes where you can win. They're like challenge modes. Um, I was telling Pale before, there's like one where you have to run away from a bear, one where you have to stockpile a certain amount of food, but this is just the sandbox survival. And the goal is just to survive as long as possible. So you can... We've made it for, I don't know why this won't scroll down, 22 days. Um, and it tells you like what, what you did on each day you went to these places. We spent a lot of time at Mystery Lake Camp Office. Um, and etc. And generally people just try to see how long you can survive. Oh, I wanted to look at what we've managed here. So 25% reduction in meat harvesting times can harvest fish percent frozen by hand. 10% reduction in hide or gut harvesting times. That's pretty cool. More calories from cooked food. No calorie loss in smashing. Cooking times reduced by 10%. So that's 10% longer. All right. So I, I feel like we have to kill these wolves that are at our house. Maybe that's a bad idea. But I, I cannot stand the fact that they're out there. More food, yeah, but we're, we've got... I want to say we have 12 bullets left, I think. And no way to get more if we if we, you know, can't go exploring. Nice weather. God, all the creaking noises are freaking me the fuck out. I 
not see him. Oh my god, those noises are sure gonna kill me. Women screaming and babies crying. It's funny you say that. Um, have you played Seven Days to Die? It's a, it's another survival game, but it's like a zombie. Um, a zombie game. Holy balls. So. So there's wolves close enough to the house that they'll uh, attack. We don't know where, we don't know when. What are we gonna do? Um, these insulated boots, 4.7 temperature. Let's see what the deer boots. 4.5. These are actually better than the deer boots. Maybe these are, have other properties that are better. But these are really good boots. Um. Watching every third minutes of it. First thing is panic. Yeah. Well, there's this particular region in the game where everything's like burned and charred, and the the sounds have babies crying, and it's so unsettling. And it it's like, what is that noise? And it's it's just weird. I don't know. Like, it's the memory of some horrible tragedy that occurred. Um, well, I guess we sh don't need to make the deer boots. If, um, if we've got boots that are better. We should make the wolf coat, I think. That's going to take 25 hours or so. And I think we can put up these supplies. So we need the cloth. Um... Yeah, I'd like to go find those wolves, but it's too, the weather's too terrible. So I'm gonna craft a little few things. Uh, it's getting dark. Oh, it's getting real dark. to blow outside. Um, okay. Uh, step to the right. Step forward. Turn. There we go. Uh, I really like Seven Days Die. It's a it's a good game. It's ugly. It's so ugly. Um, but 
I think it's really fun. It's kind of, you know, it, like it needs a lot of love. Um, I'm glad they don't think it's finished yet, but it's really fun. A scary little valley near the Neanderthal. The wind comes from the right direction. It actually sounds like a woman screaming in pain. Some say your words like help and run sometimes. What's the Neanderthal? Is that a part of German? Uh, we're not tired. Bubkus. I also don't have the lantern on me. Grab a little, little meat. Where do we put it? On the ground? Where do we put that meat? Did we eat it all? Oh. <laughs> she lifts up to turn the lamp on, so you can't use the little flicker to find stuff on the ground. Oh, come on. This is so silly. It's just too dark in here. Ha ha! in Germany where they found many fossils of primary humans. I see. So they named they named Neanderthals after the Neanderthal Valley. I didn't I didn't know that. Um, where the hell am I? Okay. Oh god, I can't see shit. It's it's we've had some really dark nights lately. Um I I don't I honestly don't know what to do other than to pass the time. Which I, I hate because it feels like you you're just wasting resources. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I think they want to encourage you to like use your lantern and use your matches, but because they're so valuable, it makes more sense to just bump around in the dark, and that's not really fun gameplay. Because people. For whatever reason, people are going to do things that aren't enjoyable if they're a good strategy. And it's just how people are. Um, and I feel like game designers should make the good strategies fun and not tedious. All right. Um, 
So, oh, okay. We haven't made the wolf jacket. We can, we can make the wolf jacket. And then maybe, and then maybe leave and go exploring some other region. Maybe one that has fewer wolves. Oh, I love the bird sounds. You know, what's weird is that we have meat in our inventory, but it doesn't show us as having a smell. Um, yeah, I think I'm, I think I'm getting tired of this region. I, I, I would still like to make it up to that tower. Um, and then there's the other, like, looks like a broadcast tower. I don't even know what that is. So what should we do? It's a little chilly to go out yet. Oh, you can make a coat out of the bears. I didn't know you could make a bear skin coat. Oh, it's very warm, but it's very, very heavy. Huh. All right, let's um, let's get ready for travel. Drop some stuff. Keep this. This seems to be helping. Oh, it's already down to uh, seventy-two percent. It started at a hundred. I'm pretty sure. Uh, we have a book. We have dressings for wounds. This, I mean, maybe maybe we can use it. I have to decide, based on the distance of the wolf, what weapon to use. All right, 37, that's still pretty heavy. What do we got on us that's so heavy? The clothes, I guess. I mean, these boots are pretty heavy. Hmm. So if we'd save a little over a pound, a pound and a, a quarter, a third, <laughs> we switch back to the trail boots. Uh, but these are super warm. And then this is just like an extra 220 that we've had on us. Um. All right, since we have all these um, sewing kits, I'm going to go ahead and carry one. I 
to repair these pants. I'm not sure if the wolf hurt them. Our clothes, we just repaired all this stuff, you know? Like, this was 100% before that wolf attacked us, so... You know, that kind of sucks. But we'll let the, the, the weather warm up a bit. It's just about maybe 11 o'clock. It's looking better. Oh. Good lord. Triple arrow cold. Well, I guess it's a good thing we didn't go out. So supposedly, when your stats are low, you don't have as good of a chance of repairing. And I, I wish they would be honest about that. Instead of saying 70%, they should say 10%. And, and what is low? Otherwise, I don't really know what I'm doing. But apparently half is low, because... All right, that looks better. Better at tailoring. Oh, I guess not tailoring, but mending. This is such a small amount of weight, but I don't think we need antibiotics out in the field. Probably that's a bad decision, but that's what I'm doing. Just do it without this gun. What are we going to do when we run out of bullets? Trying the mobile game Harry Potter Hogwarts Mystery. Uh, is it any good? This is the last piece of meat. You can't Tim Roddle. Apparently you can't name character Tom Riddle. That's funny that they thought of that. Uh, didn't, uh, didn't Tom Riddle like anagrams? Does that kind of make sense? Uh, 
Um, all right, I'm gonna take a, a quick, like one or two minute break. Um, I'm gonna be right back. We'll figure out, I really wanna get to that tower. So we'll figure out some way to do that. Um, so yeah, I'll be back in two shakes of the lamb's tail. Or a deer's tail. All right, hey there, I'm back. Let's figure out what to do. Um, weather's terrible. We're we're just about out of meat. Um, we're down to sort of our non-perishables. I'd like to get out of this region because clearly this region is, well, I'd say for the birds, but it's for the wolves. Um, all right, well, now that the weather's bad, let's, um, let's work on the wolfskin jacket. better outside. Alright. So let's go ahead and drop all that. And hold on just a second. All right, and we'll pick up um, a touch more water. Let's see what have we, what have we got. Oh, uh, that's pretty good. That's it's not much. Okay, we can, the thing about water is you can always drop. We got a stick. Of cedar. A wolf killing gun. 
Oh. So it's warm, but it's snowing pretty heavy. Stop. Okay. Where are you, wolves? Come on. Come out. We're out. Come on. Show yourselves. Oh, I don't have any food. Well, I don't see a wolf that way. Don't see a wolf that way. So There's another one. And he was scared by the gunshot. <sighs> These wolves are ridiculous. We're going to start a fire, Come on, little fire so that as I cut him up, the other wolf hopefully won't come close. Um, but there goes another bullet. Oh no. The wind is fully capable of, of blowing, uh, blowing this fire out. In fact, I'm not even going to put wood on it because I think it's going to blow it out. But what I am going to do Get this meat. I don't think we need the hide. We've got enough. Back to the house. Um. I, I just I don't know how to get away from these wolves. I didn't have anything on them that. I, that like a smell and that first one saw me before I saw it it's crazy attacking without any provocation Good side, this is another what two days of food. Yeah, I need to do something walk on four legs, growl. So, um I want to cook this, but we'll do it. We'll do it at night. So, uh, I guess you could use stealth. You could use the crouch, but you walk like unbearably slow. And no pun intended. Um, 
I don't know. I don't know what the what the right strategy is. It's, I guess it's just don't go outside. Well, I can't do anything with the wind. Uh, uh, visibility like it is. So let's do, a, let's do a little more on our wolf uh, wolf jacket. Can't believe we did that. It's so dark in here. I thought she was gonna. So, drop, 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 drop. Did you hear that? Is that thunder in real life? Um, so this coat now actually weighs something, so we need to drop it. Oh, and I can't see shit. Alright, so let's try to cook up that food. Oh lord, it's another... Another really dark one here. I mean, may maybe the strategy that they want you to do is to figure out where the wolves go and avoid them. This is the last food, I think, so we might as well cook all this, I think. Oops, I almost ate raw meat. Through hell or high water, we're getting to that uh, tower.
All right. Stairs to sleep. Why are they so mad, you know? What happened to, the, to those wolves that made them so upset? Who pissed in their cornflakes? afford to sleep a little more and there's plenty of time <clears throat> left in the day. Generally seems to be colder in the morning, so. Top off on our meat. Top off on water. And that's the that's a picture of perfect health right there. All right, so we drop boop, 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 plop, plop, plop. Let's grab um, just a, just a few a handful of food, something not too not too heavy, but just in case kind of thing. Just in case is a, generally a bad strategy in this game. But. All right. So we've got. Um, Got all the right tools. Grab a book to help start a fire. We got a piece of cedar. Gotta arm yourself before you leave these days. It's getting dangerous out there. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, well, um, this morning we'll work on the coat. Pretty much. Possible to see anything. We never we never managed to make it out before noon, it seems. That's pretty bad. It's better. I think those crows are circling that wolf we shot. All right, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go to the tower because in this visibility, I think it's too easy to get lost. We don't know how to get up there anyway. But what I am gonna do is look for this wolf. He seems to be living up on that hill ish.
the fuck is it? <laughs> I mean, cut, give me a break. Ah. Uh. They can't see you. I don't think he was behind a hill. I don't think we need to hide, right? We've got enough hides. What the fuck is that? Is that another wolf? That's another wolf. It's another wolf, a third wolf. This is not, this is not right. This is not right. This should be called the long wolf or something. Or the big bad wolf. There's No, it, it doesn't. I mean, it, it does in other ways, but the wolf thing is not because of that. Um, there's a setting called cabin fever, where if you stay inside too long, um, you get restless and you don't, I don't know, you need to go outside, I guess. I don't know. I, I don't know how it works, because I like to turn it off. I think it's stupid. But but the wolves, I don't, I don't think is a thing. Why do you have such big eyes? Why do I have such a big gun? Um, I think that's it. We're, we're, yep, we're down to 10 bullets. We have no, um, no bullets left that we haven't put in our gun. We we're still ready to go out. I mean, at this point, well, it's funny because my brain just said, at this point, how many wolves can there be left? And I forgot that there's another wolf right there. Um, I think Pale is just... On this difficulty setting, all they did is say, you know, make wolves more aggressive. And I think it's a little thoughtless, honestly. It's like when you hit dip high difficulty and it just means the monsters have more hit points. It's not really... Red Hat, is that what you call her? We call her Little Red Riding Hood. Now why couldn't it be a moose, you know? Rot cat chin. It's, it's 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 like he's right there. What am I supposed to do?
I don't know. A long O. Wrote cat chin. Cat chin is a small hood. Wasn't sure how it's called in English. Red catling. Oh, the ling is like a diminutive. Uh. Yeah, I guess we just say Little Red Riding Hood. All right, Jess Beer Bay. Um, thanks for hanging out. Have a nice night. Don't let the wolf get you. At least it's warm. Um, I have to say, I'm already looking forward to changing the settings. Knock these wolves down a peg and maybe make the weather a little worse. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm just going to go over here, check out what's going on. Maybe you're the wolf. Maybe you are. Watch out for a little red riding hood then. Check out what's going on. He's a deer. So we could kill the deer. That's a lot of meat. That, that'll last a, a while. But it's just yet another bullet, you know. And of course we could miss. the wind's picking up. I can't tell if it's in-game or not. I feel like I keep hearing growling. It's The game has me paranoid now. So we've already visited all these cottages and um, uh, looted the majority of stuff, the interesting stuff. There's still there's still things left in, in them, like wood and cloth. But all the good stuff is, is uh, we took. We saw a bear over here. Now I want to see if I can get into a position where it makes sense to attack or her. Oh, cattails. Oh, there's more cattails now. Yeah. 
unforgettable experience, the chamber. Oh man, we missed this whole little island. <coughs> So there's a wolf. I I know that you can kind of trick the wolves into attacking deer. I don't know if you can do that to trick them to attack bears. Um, I do think that wolves will attack bears, though. I just don't know if you can gain it. appreciate your opinion. I was just reading something the other day about um, the stereotype about Germans is that they uh, tell you their opinion um, straight up. But I hear what you're saying. I hear you. Um, we've already looted this. Well, I, I can't find the bear. And now I can't seem to get back up this mountain. So we might have to shoot another wolf. Um, if I shot him, the bear wouldn't survive me. Maybe. Um, essentially, if you shoot him in the head, you have a pretty good chance of killing him. Uh, not exactly sure how it works. Might have to shoot him twice. But um, killing a bear would be enough food for like weeks. And um, it would also be somewhat exciting. <clears throat> Sadly, found are more wolves. And this deer. Uh, 
I wonder if the bears despawn or just move to a different area. How does that work? Um, I think it will become more interesting once we leave this area. Um, I think probably we'll die, which may be interesting. Um, I think the, the way to play the game is to be fairly conservative and to, you know, make sort of mostly safe decisions, but the game will eventually put you into a situation where there really isn't a safe decision. Um, and, you know, maybe you find that interesting. Maybe you don't. Uh, so, for example, when we got attacked by the wolf, uh, that got us down to 15% health. I thought that was pretty interesting. What do you do afterwards? I think the balance is kind of atrocious, but uh, I think the decisions are what makes the game interesting. Um, Lurker, you got a raid incoming? Oh, that'll be interesting. Uh, how, what? What are you doing? But yeah, it's it's definitely a game where the majority of the time you spend managing inventory and picking up sticks. And I think you have to find that soothing or it's it's not much to it, I suppose. There's a there's definitely a piece um, until there isn't. So what's going on? Nine nine. Nine nine nine. Poo. Hi, welcome. That was a very, that was a very cute emoji. I think it would have been better, Pale, if if um, this place we had chosen to live wasn't so dark in the evenings. That's driving me kind of bonkers. Because um, it, it's really kind of goofy to just see me stumble around in the dark. I know that much. Um, well, all we got was a bunch of sticks. I, I still want to get to that tower. Um, uh, how's them deer pants? Well, I, I'm not, I'm not actually wearing them because they're too heavy. Um... They, they're good for when it gets really cold. All right. Oh, look how waterlogged we got.
Um, when you when you're out in the cold and your clothing's wet, I think you actually have a chance to um, to get uh, frostbite. Uh, a Kalyan, welcome. Delvina, what's up? How's your night? Um, so there appear to be a lot of people there appear to be a lot of people watching now welcome everybody uh, to the long dark you're about to watch me put away items and then go to sleep <laughs> uh, and then wake up and probably be attacked by wolves that's the that's the state of the game so far. The most inactive raid party I've ever seen. Lurker, are you sure these aren't bots? Did you bring bots into my channel? You're suffering at comp games. Uh, Paladin's comp. Um, I think we might have a little bit of daylight enough to work on this coat. <clears throat> it's a raid of lurkers. I guess that's what lurker would bring. Um, is a is a raid of lurkers. All right. Like I said, I'm gonna stumble around in the dark and go back and around and take a left. See the windows? That's the only way you know where you are, and I've just gotten lost. And the bed! Easy peasy! Um, uh, yeah, they're probably <laughs> sensual moaning. It's not sensual moaning! Isn't that what you do when you're tired? Uh, that's not sensual. I think, I think Pale, you, you may have misunderstood people. If that sounds sensual to you, it's important to, to be able to distinguish between different kinds of moaning. That's that much is for, sh for sure. Okay, we woke up fully rested, and it's still the middle of the night. Eat and drink a bit. Um, I'm not sure there's much we have to do outside. So generally, time is one of your biggest uh, assets. You want to do things that... Yeah, I don't have uh, I don't have my lantern. It's so dark. Anyway, so you try to do things when you can't sleep. There's no sense in uh, just wasting time. So I generally like to go outside and try to figure out something to do. She, she makes it sound sensual. German moaning is maybe a bit more aggressive. That's that's racist, Pale. Um, also, so Delvina, why why are you playing Paladin's comp? I thought you hated comp. Isn't it peaceful? This is, this is the best part of the day right here. Oh, Overwatch? Is it, is it better than Paladins? Um, uh, normally I'd try something like repairing clothes. I don't really have any clothes to repair. 
Um, yeah, I want to get to the tower. It would have been good timing for surprise well. I was actually thinking the same thing. Like, this is the most beautiful part of the day, and then, like, five wolves come. Only one person got insulted, and you did the insulting, right? Um, it's, it's actually, it's actually getting brighter very, very slowly. Um, let's see if we can work on the wolf coat then to spend the early morning and then we'll head to the tower for like the eighth time and see if we can find the way to the tower. <clears throat> so this part of the day is super cold. Generally you want to try to avoid it. Let's see what we've got. Never insult except in self-defense. Okay, green green weather's not good. You can't see anything. So let's give it another hour. Things are uh we've done two thirds of this coat. will be really dapper when we finish it. Still pretty green. Uh, we were interrupted by darkness, Kale, okay, so it, uh, it cut us exactly where we stopped. Who counts time in metric? What are you talking about? What, oh, you mean like point instead of uh, how many minutes? I'm telling you, I, I told you already about my metric time theory. God, the weather, so it's, it's warm now, but it's still very low visibility. Um, problem is I think it's about noon. A little bit afternoon, so don't want to wait too long. Or, you know, we're we're faced with possibly wandering around as it gets dark. Ugh. To deal with what you're given. Now I could just berserk my way up to the up to that tower. But see, this might have happened, right? It actually got worse. And we would have been screwed. Maybe that would have been an exciting stream. But uh, nobody ever said I was good at this. So I think the right call is to, is to be somewhat careful and take risks when you need to. Um, but the good news is we're almost finished with our coat. We're going to be toasted. Jesus Christ. So this this game has all kinds of weather. Um, you know, the two kinds. Uh, bad and worse. Let's just let's just make the cut.
right, we've got ourselves a wolfskin coat, 7.2 degrees of additional warmth. Let's see, it replaces uh, the 0.8 windbreaker. Oh, yeah. Uh, and we're looking pretty fine. Need to get some sleep. See you, pal. Have a nice, uh, have a nice night. Thanks for, thanks for stopping in. I was, I was a little bit worried about you, but uh, I'm glad, I'm glad everything is all right. All right, we're out of cooked meat. Oh, that's okay. So we'll, if the weather's still shitty, we'll cook the rest of the meat. The weather is still shitty. So we've got these. Last wolf steaks. Let's make sure we've let's put this cured gut up. I think we've got an extra piece, yeah. And of course it used it used the sewing kits like not one of them up. Um so there's there's a bunch of people here. How did what is um, Lurker, what did you do? What did you do, Lurker? Um, yeah, so let's cook the steaks. We also have some rosebuds or mushrooms. Pop, uh, pop those in there. Ika, uh, isn't he the um, auction non included streamer? So I, I don't get uh, notifications of, of raids in my in my program that shows me viewers. Um, ah! Ica TV has hosted you. Wow! Ica TV, thank you so much for all these people, for all these very quiet, well-behaved people. Um, I appreciate it. I think, uh, I think I got dropped by my oxygen stream the other night when it was crashing. All right, let's let's cook this meat. Uh, the on. weather today was Come terrible on. and can't really do anything with that so um, we're gonna try to to do it tomorrow and see how that goes. Also, Fry Dendal, thank you for following. I appreciate it. Oh, yeah. That's good. All right, I want to put in cedar. Let's put more of this in. There's some uses for reclaimed wood, but it's kind of easy to get, so. This is, honestly, we're going to eat, like, three of these. So I've got to decide for the, um, like I was saying, my oxygen not included colony kept crashing. 
because um, because I upgraded to the new version and it doesn't seem like it upgraded well. So we have to figure out what to do in the next column. Um, we've done the 50, we had a base with 50 sustainable dupes and we pushed that up to 86 before it collapsed. Then we did the hard difficulty settings where you suffer a lot of stress and a lot of disease. What should we do next? I put it to you, 26 very quiet people. What should we do? Try to live with no geysers. I was thinking some kind of restriction thing. I was thinking um, no electricity or no wheeze wards or, you know, st stuff like that. No, it would be cool if you could do no ground at all. Like they had to live on ladders. But the problem is m most buildings you've got to, you've got to, um, well, you know, got to have ground. But yeah, something like that would be fun. All right, we've used just about all that fire. Let's eat and drink to our heart's delight. No ladders, yeah, that would be interesting. So I, there's a couple of things that I've seen people suggest. Um, I mean, not uh, like like other streamers. One is no, you're not allowed to build tiles. So if you dig something out, you have to live with it. You can't like replace it, replace a tile. Um, and that means you you can't put pipes through walls and stuff. It's really it changes things a lot. Um, this is a bunch of bunch of things like that that I think would be interesting. <clears throat> On the other hand, um, oh my god. Okay. On the other hand, maybe it would be fun just to do like a normal playthrough on normal difficulty, but. Just make it so um, we try to go quick. We try to um, get to a point of, I don't know, 12 people sustainable, like as fast as possible. No tiles are just put doors everywhere easy. Yeah, I, I realized in this last playthrough that as long as the door is closed, it acts as ground, which I kind of think is goofy, but ah well. Um. Alright, so the plan for today is the same as yesterday. Uh, we don't have a coat to work on. Um. The only other thing we haven't made is the boots, but at, at any rate, we're going to try to get to that tower. Whether the weather allows it, or whether the wolves allow it, I don't know. I think we're just about rested. It's not very late. All right, so we're going to head down, see how things are outside. It's still pretty late, but it's actually not very cold. 
um, one arrow cold. It's, it's too, I think it's too dark to kind of wander around just yet, but it's a good start. Is there anything we can do out here? Like a tender plug from a stick, that's not super useful. All right, let's um, let's try to find something to do for like an hour. Just be, if we just if we just get it a little bit brighter, I think we can head out like this. Um, we need to put up the coat. And put these teens away. So this is um, a different tea than this. This is like a dark, a light brown, and this is a red. I don't know if it shows up well, but... Um, the eight cattail heads. So... Kind of heavy, but all right. Clothes are fine. Uh, this wolf coat is pretty heavy, but it gives um. It has good defense, and I am fully expecting to be attacked by a wolf. They. Are the worst. The worst of all animals. I can only imagine that that like the the wolf friend coalition petitioned this game to uh Uh, to, to for its treatment of portrayal of wolves as being predators when in fact in real life I think they're not um, they're not so bad what am I looking for here I'll put some of these away And then the last thing is uh, to drop the lantern. So, yeah, some of the stuff that we're carrying we can drop um, if we get overweight. Where is the door? It's a little cold, but I think this is it. This is this is the attempt. An attempt will be made. How, actually, how cold is it? That's pretty cold. All right. So the last eight times we've tried this, we made it about this far. Um, and well, you can see what know. happened. Looks like I survived another night. Jesus Christ! And there, and there's the next one. This game is just—it's um, uh, like a wolf predator simulator. Try a new technique here. If we hear growling, I'm gonna light the torch. Now, 
Okay, on top of the wolf problem, I don't actually know how to get to the tower. I just see it. And, the, and we tried, we actually made a complete circle last time. I couldn't figure out how to do it. Kind of surprised that he hasn't attacked. Or she. All right. So if we can get up here, I think we'll be at a good angle. How is it a deer down there? So that's the tower. Um, some kind of little ranger station. And it looks like we've got two deer. Uh, or not two deer. That, that's the question. There's actually three. And those are what I'd love to save the bullets for. Not the wolves. A lot more food in a deer. Alright, so... There, there's the tower, I think. I think. Yeah. Go startle these... deer. Now, like I said, Players better than me, I think, have worked out exactly how to chase the deer into the wolves or bring the wolves towards deer, things like that. Uh, when do we'll try that if we run out of bullets? All right, so still see it. Haven't gotten lost. It's a little bit chilly. Our temperature's going down. Let's see how the... All right, the air is warming up, though, so... Last time we tried to make it, we went to the left and circled it around the left. So this time... Ooh, this looks much better because this is like a path. I think I think we managed to figure out how to get up. Let's follow the path up. Um, I'm gonna switch to the gun because we don't have good sight lines, and we've discovered that you can't light the torches very quickly. So far, so good. This is. Far and away the best attempt. Uh, there's a volcano in the distance. Clearly, this is Hawaii. Ooh, is that is that too soon? I mean, Hawaii's got volcanoes. It's not just now. Anyway, sorry about that. But there's towers. Don't know how to get to those. I have no idea what those are. Even when this game was like two years, two years previous, uh, I don't think I ever remember towers. All right, we finally did it. This is such a small achievement, but it's nice because we've tried like six times to do this for serious. Uh, hail Canada. Praise be to the maple leaf. Just bought some maple syrup today, actually. Planning on making some French toast. Very international man of cuisine.
Wow. Oh. Oh yeah, she's getting cold. She's actually getting colder. Uh, temperature's down to 15. I wonder if the height did that. All right. Got a book. It's dog food. Oh, yeah. Another rifle cleaning kit. That's actually a really good find. The last time I found a rifle cleaning kit, um, Delvina clipped me because I was so excited. But I'm not going to make that mistake again. No excitement here today. Or one up. That's good. Simple tools. Ooh, a bullet. Uh, two. So not bad. Hmm. This will come in handy. Not bad. Not fantastic, but not bad. All right. Well, let's warm up a bit and uh, I'm feeling good. Let's let's try to find that broadcasting tower. We're still pretty underweight. Let's read hour of this book. Plenty of time. It's like 10 a.m. Um, let's see how cold. Oops. Okay. That's poor design. I mean, if it was me living in this room, I think I would have moved the bed. You know what I'm saying? Just, uh, just saying. All right, it's back to being a little cold. So where do we want to go? To oh, that's another ranger station. Oh, and a broadcasting tower past that. Is that the same one? Uh, is that the rail? I think that's. Yeah, that's, that's the rail. So the broadcasting tower is actually past this other station. I thought it was a lot closer. Alright, well if we can uh, keep... Oh, it's getting colder. So if it doesn't warm up when we get down, um, and we can't keep an eye on it, uh, probably not going to just... Okay. Inclement weather approaches. Should have brought our deer pants. If deer pants are made from a deer, what are hammer pants made of? Just saying. Um. This looks safe, right? She's not good at hills. If you find yourself in this situation in real life, you should probably go down backwards. It's not a joke, it's just a, a piece of advice. Um, all right, I, I don't see how to get up, but we're definitely going in the right direction. I'm 
going to start to pick up sticks because, you know, if things don't work out, I'm going to have to make a fire somewhere. So, try to be prepared. Um, it's too cold. Don't think I can climb up there. Oh dear. Okay, I don't think I can climb down there. What is that? Oh, I think that's the log. It's like where they cut down trees. The log yard. Alright, I was half expecting to find a rope or something. It's getting chilly. So this is where the game gets interesting for me. Because at any point, I'm going to try to hug the wall, at any point, I can make the decision to turn back. a tension between doing the conservative thing, doing the thing that has the best chance of giving you resources. Uh, that looks really steep. This isn't... Uh, This isn't like Skyrim, you can't uh, jump up the cliff. Actually, you can't jump. This is looking good. Impossible is nothing. So, doesn't that look like um, a thing? But I can't. I don't think this is the right way, but uh, but that's pretty tantalizing. Oh, there's the, there's a the path. Oh god. Oh yeah, there's there's some railings. I think we found the I think we found the path. Students. Mm. It's warming up. Nobody needs this anymore. Um, think of that. Realism? What, uh, what, the fact that this is destroyed? Or the dangerous path? Fleece mittens? Okay, that's, it's not super useful. Oh, man. So this fella... Maybe should have built in here. I'm just saying. I don't. I mean, I don't know. What do I know? Put your hand up to block it. Yeah. I mean, I was kind of kidding, but you never know what's real on this on this screen. Supply bin. I think I can 
use this. Rope cloth. So rope is like 11 pounds. I'm not sure we're going to carry it. Um. Well, I have to say, I was hoping for more than... Man, I'm not sure I can carry much more. A destroyed thing of a bob. Interesting. He's got a very small amount of meat. If we take it... If we take it, we smell, but I can cook it and probably two pounds I can just eat. The hide... I'm not going to take it. So I'll make a fire over here if I can find some... What do you call it? Le Leewardness? So we can, we found this rope, we can put the rope on the thingy, and then climb down. Um, honestly, there doesn't really seem to be a good place to build a fire. Alright, so let's... Start the fire, let's cook the meat. Maybe we'll get um, a touch of water. Use some of this wood that we've been picking up. So I was about to call her fire starting abilities glacially slow. I feel like that's not an appropriate word to use for the speed of which you start fires. I mean, actually, maybe it, maybe it works better than I was thinking. Put this up, get a little warm. Uh, yeah, let's do point two. It's, uh, it's maybe one or two in the afternoon now. What's the goal? This game survive as long as possible. Essentially, yeah. Uh, so this is sandbox survival mode. Um, and in sandbox survival mode, that's pretty much all you can do is try to survive. Um, there are challenge modes where you have to achieve certain goals. And those have those have win conditions, but but in this mode it's try not to die. We've got a lot of wood on us. But uh, we're not overweight, so I'm going to go ahead and hop down this thing while the weather's okay. All right, now I've had some bad experience with these, with these ropes. They really wear you out, especially going up. Didn't I say this is the spot? I half expected a rope coming up. It just looked like a rope spot. Alright, so... We can use it to get back up if we ever want to. I don't think we do. But we know that the railroad is in that general direction, so that's... Um, that's where I'm going to head. And at this point, I basically want to get home, and then 
we're gonna take inventory and oh, Is that a rabbit or a, a wolf? My inclination was to talk quieter so that it couldn't hear me. Um, we're going to leave this area because I'm tired of this area. It's too many wolves. I don't know if it gets better, but we're gonna we're gonna test our luck someplace else. Let's, let's go before he sees us. Glad that we ate that meat. Did I eat that meat? Too many rolls. It's ridiculous. So, I thought, um, usually I set it to passive when I play by myself. Because I don't like wolves. And I thought, well, you know, it's stream. It should be exciting. We'll do hard mode. And leave the wolves default. It's fucking ridiculous. It's not appropriate. The devs clearly don't play their own game. I don't know where we're going over here, but it looks like something interesting. So you can... Oh, we don't have the hatchet. But... We, so uh, we can turn those into arrows. But... Um, but we don't have the hatchet. So... Yeah. But right? It's too many wolves. It's ridiculous. She sprained her wrist walking on the hill. Which means we can't hold a gun. She can hold a torch, though. We have to sleep for two hours or take pain medication. Um, I think the prudent thing to do... is to take pain medication. What what is Is that is that your SpongeBob? Is that your best SpongeBob impression? I've only seen like one episode of Spongebob, but it seemed pretty funny. Oh, you're pretending... You're pretending that's that's how I sound? Um, oh, oh, too many cooks, gotcha. Um, Alright, so I'm sort of lost, but I think... I think this is the right-ish way. Essentially, we're looking for the train tracks. Um, that, see, that tower helps us... It, oh, fucking shit. Alright. Uh, another Wolfie Poe. But that's the railroad tracks. That's the railroad tracks. In fact... All right, I'm ducking, crouching. Too many wolves, too many wolves. I haven't seen that since it came out. We're, I think we're actually really close to our house. I say our house, I mean, we took it over. You know, we don't, we don't own the, the lease.
so there's there's a the train is built on this hill. The train track's built on a hill. So you can't really see the little dudes on the other side of it. Too many wolves. Too many wolves. Break me off a piece of that. Too many wolves. Yeah, this is like fucking home. We just, we dialed this in. Holy shit. to both towers. No casualties, no fights, pacifist. Uh, actually, there there is another streamer who's doing a pacifist run. I don't know if he's playing right now, but I saw him uh, earlier. Oh my god. All right. Um, let me see something here. So, so there's still a bunch of people watching. Um, which is kind of surprising. I don't. Uh, I don't know who you are, anything about you, your names, your hopes and dreams. Um, but hello to all of those who are not bots, hello. All right, I want to put everything away because um, this, this helps ground me and it has to be done. And then I think I'm going to take a little break, like a minute, and I think we're going to leave this place. I think we're going to go to another map. Um, generally speaking, traveling between maps is difficult. Especially because I have no idea what goes where. I, I, I know that there are some exits. Um, but I'm not good enough at this game where I know actually where stuff goes. So we're just gonna just gonna take a little take a little guess. All right, what, what all did we get? I mean, we got a gun cleaning kit. We got another MRE. These are pretty good things. In fact, let's just go ahead and... Clean the gun. Um, the lower gets has a chance of jamming. Which is uh, it's not ideal. Ah.
All right, that's that's most of the stuff. So, um, like I said, I'm gonna go take a quick break. I'll be back before you know it, um, and then we'll head off. I think that's a terrible idea, but that's what I'm gonna do. So, um, yep, BRB. All right, back, we're back, we're back, we're back. So, that was a really successful little venture. Um, we're gonna spend the rest of the day here Then we're going to head off in a direction that leads to a whole nother area. Oh, the wool sweater is actually, it's actually warmer. Um, all this stuff will still be here. We can't carry it with us. We'll bring, we'll bring kind of what we can, what makes sense. We will try not to travel with meat. But all the light stuff that's really important, um, we'll travel with. So probably the first thing, let's just go ahead and start getting ready for this process. We'll take the nice hatchet. Uh, the nice knife, and we'll sharpen them. Um, we'll probably break those down. She's getting tired, but she can't sleep. She's got a lot of work to do. Went from 80 to 83. Okay, you could do better than that. Um, but my, I don't know, philosophy, my plan is to leave and not come back. for a long time. Um, maybe after exhausting the map or 
something like that that we that we go to. So we're gonna leave with all the stuff that is good. Sharpening skill. Makes sense. Everything has a skill. Um, we're certainly going to be able to sleep through the night tonight. She's got. Uh, she's going to get exhausted by the time. So we're actually going to leave one of the knives. We're going to leave. You know, we're just going to take one of each. And like I say. If I can't imagine these wolves are going to let up in another map, but if we ever need to come back, we can come back. Um, if, we, if we have a marathon game, sharpen those, we clean the gun. Um, we harvest the arrow. I think things are, I think it's gonna get dark here. Um, these arrowheads are actually pretty valuable because to make arrowheads is a whole thing. You've got to have a, you got to find a forge and you've got to get coal and you've got to get a hammer and it's a pain in the butt. All right, so I think what I'll do is I'll send the shitty whetstone. Um, I'll actually take that, take the arrow, take the stem. These are pretty light. Uh, I'll even take both of the whetstones. All right, but we're gonna give up the low quality knife. Um, we're not gonna do torches. We're gonna do flares. Wolves are bad. Let's just take them all. I feel bad about leaving these, but they're pretty heavy. And. Uh, Probably we're not going to use this up before we find another whetstone. Whetstones are somewhat common. Should we take a can over? I don't think so. It's not very heavy, but I think we can smash cans open now without damaging them. Um, water purification tallets. I never really use them. Can always make a fire. Well, this pretty much seems like that's all I could do here um, without going to sleep. We're at 48 pounds, which is, oh my god, I, it's like I can't see anything. Okay, so that's the filing cabinet. Go through, okay, take left. Um, I tell you one thing, the next place we live, I hope it has indoor lighting. I, I, I'm lost. Um, indoor lighting is not, it's not really a thing, but what the, what direction am I in? There we go. Um, but I've definitely been in places in the long dark where you can see at night, like it's not redonkulous. Um, 
it, it, I think it's it's just a feature of the of the building. Um, monkey cats, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Um, hello and welcome, monkey cats. So the first night in a while, I think she's actually going to sleep through uh, the whole night. Hey, what's up? What's up, monkey cats? There we go. All right, we're hungry. And I believe that we're out of meat. Do we have meat outside? Or did we cook it? I can't remember. How am I tonight? I am I'm well. Very well. Um, oh, there's a deer. Oh, it's so close to the house. But we're we're moving on. I can't can't let myself get too attached. Um, yeah, I'm having fun playing this game. Everything is everything is good. All right. Well, let's see if we can't get all this stuff together. So let's get the clothing that we want to bring. Um, which is in the clothing. It's the last one. I checked. Actually checked one of them twice. Let's get let's get the deer pants. I mean we made them, right? We might as well. Oh so this is gonna be tough. We've actually got a, a third toque. Alright, let's just bring the deer pants. If we're gonna carry them, we might as well put them on. Um yeah, how are how are you, monkey cats? Harvest? No, don't harvest my deer pants. My deer pants. All right, we definitely want. Our cattails, our MREs. Actually, let's just grab all this, see how much it is. I rarely use the herbal tea, but it is sometimes useful in a, in a pinch. You have chocolate ice cream, so life is amazing. Uh, I, I applaud your enjoying life. Um, might as well take one of these. You never know. We also want to take the good bed roll. This pack is getting kind of heavy. Yeah. So we're gonna have to make some decisions here. Like, I'd love to take the cloth, you know. Maybe we'll take some of it. The scrap metal. The feathers. I don't, I, this, this is see, this is what gets me is we're gonna uh, uh, we'll leave these I think yeah we'll leave those okay medicine so basically I'll just grab all the stuff I want and then we'll put away things that um, things that we can't necessarily use. So that's oh my god, 81 pounds. Um, 
And that's not even including any of the skins. Like, I'll take it. It might be nice to to bring skins to repair things. We, ha we don't really have water. Um, is this going to eat half of it and then throw the rest away, or? Oh, good. Okay. Yeah, we don't have any water. So it's okay to be a little bit overburdened. But uh, ideally, we wouldn't. All right, so we've got this thing. This is a hundred percent. Let's refuel it. Um, and then we'll just leave that. All right, so this is everything we have sorted by weight. We have to bring a bedroll um, because who knows if we find um, if we actually manage to find a bed. If we don't find a bed, we're really screwed if we don't have a bedroll. So. Um, I think that's how I generally die in my non-wolf playthroughs, is uh, getting caught without a bed. Um, okay. Um, I can't stop thinking about chocolate ice cream now. Actually, what I really like is vanilla ice cream and you put chocolate on it. I feel like that has a richer, fuller taste. Uh, but I really want ice cream now. Boy, so uh, so we're twenty pounds over. Oh, Ben and Jerry chocolate brownie. Oh, okay. Oh, that works. That works for me. It was amazing. Um, I can't find my favorite Ben and Jerry uh, ice cream anymore. It it used to be called Marsha Marsha Marshmallow. Um, and then they renamed it to just s'mores, which is super boring. But it, it had graham cracker, it had marshmallow, and it had chocolate. And oh man, it was so good. Super good. Chocolate therapy. I don't know if I've had chocolate therapy. Chocolate, it's like chocolate chunk with chocolate ice cream or something. Um... Most of their ice creams are pretty good. I, I have had bad Ben and Jerry's, but I, I can't remember what it was. Maybe the Chunky Monkey. I'm not really a fan of the banana. Um, chocolate pudding? You're just making things up now. Never heard of chocolate pudding. Why, why are we so heavy? Um, is 
It's it's all the little stuff. So let's put three of the coffees away. Um, it, I mean, this right here is twelve pounds, but this is food that doesn't go dead. Uh, we'll definitely drop some of the water, but. Um, um, I, I've been I've been eating this uh, peanut butter cup ice cream. I mean, not a lot, but I that's the most recent ice cream I've had. And it's got like these little peanut butter cups in it. Like little tiny peanut butter cups. And you, you wonder how they get them so little. How do they shrink them? Uh, I don't know. I can't figure it out. I've, I've tried to figure it out, but I can't figure it out. Rum raisin? Ice cream? Rum raisin ice cream? Really? Um, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna toss two of these. So once we find the, the saw, we shouldn't need, shouldn't be hard to find more, um, scrap metal. Uh... Have you ever had an egg cream? Just out of curiosity. I'm just thinking because I feel like I'd rather have a milkshake than eat a bowl of ice cream, usually. But I feel like as I've gotten older, I appreciate ice cream more than, than a milkshake. But not, not more than a milkshake, just more than I used to. Um, but I, I still like a milkshake better, I think. And I, I'd hate to have a rum raisin milkshake. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it would be good. You don't think so? Um, it's pretty good. It's it's very it's different than ice cream, but it just uh, I was just thinking about it because I'm thinking about shakes. It's not, it's not even a shake either. It's it's just. Um, it's like milk plus seltzer water plus chocolate syrup and you have to make it you have to sort of mix it up so it foams it's kind of a weird thing but it's pretty good it sounds terrible and it it can be bad but it can also be really good I'm getting hungry hungrier and hungrier we're still at 83 pounds. I've, I've uh, managed to get rid of like two and a half pounds here. This is sad. I think we're going to have to throw some of the cattail stalks or, or the sodas or something. Oh my god, it's noon. Yeah, let's um, let's get rid of some of my beloved cattails. I it saddens me a lot to do so. All right. Um, matches. Also, lantern fuel. Oh, there's another flare. Oh, God. 
Well. Hey, Joey. Welcome. What's going on, man? We're talking about ice cream. Had a long day. Uh, have you been chased by wolves all day, or have you started your job, or are you you're still doing exams? I, I can't take more stuff. I'm not taking the, the lantern fuel. Um, so I'm thinking AP testing and final damn concert. What about final exams? Are those later? You have final exams, right? Get to sleep in and ship school late. Cool. Um, you, you guys realize after we spend all this time curating our inventory to, for our trek, um, we're going to uh, immediately get eaten by a wolf. I'm dropping these tools. Tools are really, really useful, but we don't have anything that they're useful for yet. They're pretty easy to find, so... Final exams are later? Okay. See, I thought it was like the end of the school year already. Um, let's, where is this? Okay, let's get rid of some flares. Shouldn't, let's hope we don't need more than four. Um, yeah, somebody hosted me. Um, uh, Ica TV, who, who I think usually plays oxygen. I'm not exactly sure what happened, but somehow Lurker convinced him to or something. You had finals last week? Okay, so some people are finishing up. Are you, are you, do you have semesters? Do you have like trimesters, Joey? Oh, 73 pounds. Um, Semesters. Okay. All right. Well, piece of cedar firewood just because. And uh, let's go. Where are we going? I have no idea. Haven't really thought that far ahead. Um, I'm going to miss you. Uh, deer pelts and wolf pelts and books and guts. I'm going to miss you all. <sighs> Into the great beyond. Oh, the wind's blowing pretty hard. Um, all right. So I know that there's, a, there's an exit at, I think, both ends of the train track. And there's also an exit at the dam. And there's also an exit in a cave that's near the... No, we're going to leave this map. I'm getting bored, and I'm tired of the wolves, and we're going to hope that we can find someplace nicer. So the cave is near that little cabin we went to yesterday, the trapper's cabin. Um, that... That leads to a little town that's pretty cool. But let's um
let's try to go to the let's try to go to the um, towards the dam. Maybe we'll spend the night at the dam or in the little cabin next to the dam. Um, move to a different. No, there's like I, I can't really show you, but this 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 area this whole area is a map, and you can uh, there's like ten different maps, and and they're connected, so you can travel from one to the other or to the other to the other till you get to like a crazy there's like a coastline there's one there's a mountain. This is supposed to be like a nice little camping, you know, cabins and stuff. Or a train, I don't know. The train goes through a lot of them. But... Um, yeah, some of the maps are hard. Some of the maps are easier. But generally the harder ones have better gear. So there's not really a best map. Um, people can't agree on the best place to live. Although there's some, you know, like the place we were just at is one of the top places. Because it's got uh, a bed and it's got a stove. And it's got a workbench. All three things. All right. We've seen a lot of wolves here. Maybe they don't come out when it's snowing. You can only hope. Jesus Christ. I'm walking into the wind with 75 pounds of gear. She's not she's not um, handling it very well. But we're, we're not carrying any meat. Watch Cliff me getting attacked by a wolf. It's pretty. It's pretty funny, isn't it? Like the timing, the wind picks up. I just, I love it. The wolves, man. We got this wolf today. Who, like, I just mashed the button, right? I mean, that's all you can do. But I mashed it, and it still went, it brought us from 100% to 15%. Well, so far so good. It's about two or three. The wind is, the wind's pretty bad, but it's warm enough. I can't, I can't help myself. I shouldn't be picking up things. Um, so, yeah, I've pretty much decided we're going to go to one of two exits. The dam, or I think the train tracks themselves have an exit. Um, this is the area that we uh, slept in the... Well, we didn't sleep. We stayed through the night last night. I think there's a wolf though, yeah. We're gonna try to get through here. Not attract his attention. They're so quick though. Um I, I don't remember where each one goes. So there's um there's a little coastal I, I guess it's like a fishing thing. Coastal Highway, I think it's called. 
And then there's uh, this one that's like farmland. I'm not even sure if that's reachable from here. I'm not even sure there's an exit there. It's going to be a bit of a gamble. But we'll make it work. Alright, coming up on the bridge. We actually did this trek earlier today. Wow. Um, <clears throat> and this is actually where we headed after that clip. Um, the first day. These uh, little trailers. Oh shit. I don't think it's in. I feel like I hear bellowing. Like. Like a moose. I have no idea, Joey. I can't remember what goes where. Let's take a little breath. So the smart thing to do is to stay here for the night. Um, so that we have as much daylight as possible tomorrow. Yeah, I just, I cannot remember. I cannot remember where the maps come at. I'm still looking for stuff to dump. Um, I know that the wind was blowing, but I, I really don't want to move that to move slowly. Let's um let's spend the night here. Oh. And we can drop that book. We've already read it. It's another pound. Um and we'll just start eating through eating through some stuff. Well, research because it's a skill book, so you get you get skill points for reading it. Um So study, I guess it should probably be called study or something. And in the morning, we're going to head out and I think I'm just going to, I think I'm just going to follow the train track. And we'll see where it goes. Because that should be more or less easy to follow. Um, we can't sleep through the night. 
but it's okay. Um, within within the next like half a day, maybe day, we'll we'll have to make more water. Um, so did you take did you take your AP test or is that just next? Um, oh, it's like the middle of the night. That sucks. You took one IP test for environmental or what was the other one? I can't see for shit. Galaxy's is Tuesday, okay. Um, cool. I I only took one AP test, and that was calculus. Um, I had taken other AP courses, but I did not know the material. I took, like, AP history. I was the worst. Abs I just, I do not have a mind for history. Even in college, I had to take history, and it was just like, ugh. Um, I wound up taking um, ancient history, which I think was better because there weren't so many dates or people. It was more like technology and concepts and stuff. I, I didn't take the test. I just took the class. Because I didn't know it. I was uh, a bad student. You love history? Well, more power to you. Uh, I mean, I knew that there were people out there who liked it. I just never thought I'd meet one. You're a history major, monkey cats? Just like straight up history, or do you have a focus? Like European, or um, that kind of stuff? I don't know what I can do. I, I think there really isn't anything to do. So I will. Pass the time. I hate passing the time. You got a four on AP World History, four on AP US History, four on AP Human Geography. Um, I got I got the wolf jacket, lurker. I got it. I'm wearing it. It's pr looking pretty good, huh? Um, and actually, he's wearing the deerskin pants, but it's not showing up for some reason. There you go. There you go. Uh, everything but the shoes. But these shoes are really good anyway. Um, all right. I think it's just starting to come light. Let's see what it looks like outside. Um, anyway, nice nice job, Joey. Those are, those are good scores. Yeah, the bunny mittens, yeah. Um, it's not cold. But it's super dark.
I'm going. Let's do this. I mean, when I took geography, it was just called geography. So this, we're basically following the train track, right? How can we get lost? Uh, all it says is leave Mystery Lake. It doesn't tell me where we're going. All right, everybody, our second map. So this is actually um, not a map. This is a junction. So it's a very small little sort of, it's like a theme themed area. Um, it, it's pretty dark. I really thought that it would um, it would get brighter quicker. Um, I don't have a torch. I do have some flares. All right, here's, here's what I'll do. I'll, um, I'll take the little bed. I'll sleep for an hour. Um, a mix of history and statistics for people who haven't taken statistics. Much better. It's still kind of shitty, but um, at least we can see in front of our face. All right, so I've um, I've been here before, and I still cannot remember where it connects to. But I will have some familiarity if we make it to the next area. These these junction these junctions are sometimes kind of tricky. There can be wolves. There can be dragons. Mostly dragons. I've got to stop picking stuff up. It's on like AP class. They let freshmen take. Um. <laughs> you can make a pair of wings. Obviously. So you can fly. Made it through another night. Um so you can hear the crows around, so there's something dead. But I can't see him yet. I don't like this tight. Oh shit, this is it. I can't. Oh wait, we can get in here. Scrap metal. Um, there's no story. You cannot win. This stuff will come in handy. Um, there is a story mode, but we're not playing it. We're playing sandbox survival. And the only the only opponent we have or, or goal not to die. Um, also not to get stuck in the game's geometry. Okay. 
Okay, so um, clearly we cannot get through this train wreck. So we're gonna look around. I think we just follow. Yeah, pretty much, Joey. Um, the only thing that responds are the wolves and the deer and the bears. Um, <clears throat> so eventually you have to learn to kill them with uh, bows and arrows. And actually, the arrows, you eventually run out of arrows because the, the wood that you use to make arrows is finite. So then you have to like juke the deer into getting killed by the wolves and then scare the wolves off or something like that. Or just wait like a vulture. But yeah, the ultimate, there just isn't, there is no way to win. But there's no way to win SimCity. There's no way to win um, Oxygen Not Included, you know. It's, you just, you just keep playing until you lose. That's never bothered me. Although I know it bothers some people. I don't like the idea that the game wants you to lose. That's a whole different matter. Um, and the crows are just going crazy, huh? So we could have taken that rope and climbed down, but I think this is just like ultra hard bonus area. <clears throat> you go down there and there's like some stuff like some maybe some good loot maybe since it's random you never know but it's really tough to climb we don't want to climb if we don't have to so you reach sustainable threshold yeah I mean it still can be difficult like certain things aren't renewable but I, yeah I see what you mean Wait, we missed a corpse. No, I, I'm not even going to bother with it. I see what you mean. I, I So I definitely wish this game... We have to, we have to walk across this tree. The snow-covered tree atop a ravine. Um, I wish that this game had more renewable stuff. I wish it had plants that you could, you know, pick and not necessarily have to fight wolves. Uh, Jesus Christ! I, I'm pretty sure if we fall, I mean that's just that's just the game. So here's hoping we don't fall. Where's my, where's my reticule? <laughs> Sorry, Joey, couldn't help. Oh, just like I always say, easy peasy. Those crows are really excited. Glad we've had good weather. All right, that's where the train tra the train wreck was. So now we're back on the tracks. Um. We're pretty much just going to stay on the straight and narrow here. Don't want to veer off too much. 
Ooh. Kind of a green, sickly hue to the air. Um. Honestly, I wish that uh, it was better visibility because this would be really pretty, I think. I haven't seen any wolves. Famous last words. There's a waterfall down there. I can't see it, but I can hear it. The deer shoes. We actually found better shoes. Shoes that um, are warmer. So I decided not to make the deer shoes. The advantage to the crafted clothes is generally that if you don't find what you want, you can make them. But we actually found pretty good shoes. So they're insulated uh, boots, so they're waterproof. I think we made it. Oh my god, I thought that was a wolf. Oh, my heart stopped. Wait, where, where are we? I still cannot remember where this goes. Yeah, plus two to durability. Uh, plus three to charisma. I'm, I'm wearing my uh, minus two to charisma socks right now. Man, this green this green sky is just eating me up. What is why is it green? It's freaking me out. There's more? I thought we were gonna pass into the next area. I'm glad we left as early as we did. Uh new map or same? What do you mean, Joey? Oh, it's a, it's a, it's a, our train bridge. This is, so this is like a junction area. It's like a small map in between two big maps. Um, we have to cross this train, this train bridge. Um, okay, so. Raven Falls trestle. Here's the here's the waterfall. Oh, and the sky's clearing up. Time to refill that ice, man. I'm telling you, I'm I'm actually kind of freaked out by heights. It's sunrise. What perfect fucking timing. I couldn't have planned that if I, uh, well, if I could have. So nice. Let's let's just. Oh fuck! You hear the wind? I don't want to imagine this in VR. Oh my god, my hands are starting to get slippery. Jesus fucking Christ!
Oh, I remember this. <laughs> um, let's take a moment to, to look at the beauty of this game. And um, I have to walk over this thing. Easy peasy. On to the next map. So this is, it's really like a whole other map because you have to come all the way back through here and it's just a whole process, you know, to switch maps. You only want to do it if you have to. Um, got some coal. Oh, a little cairn. Lost Cairn. Here we go. This is what I was thinking. So now we'll do, now we'll transition into a new map. That'll be like Mystery Lake, but I, I I can't remember what it's what it is. This could be the Coastal Highway. I know that one the best. So if it's Coastal Highway, that's probably the best for us. Coastal Highway. So here's the problem with this map, is this is one of the hard ones. It has a lot of loot, but it's very difficult. So that's what we that's what we be doing. But it, we've got lots of time. Um, we got here really early in the day. There's a, there's um, a sea out here to the right somewhere, and we we need to find it because without it I don't know where I am. But I think you can kind of see it in the distance. Um, now there's bears. Thanks, Joey. Thanks for the bits. Uh, there's bears. There's moose. I've seen moose on this map. And uh, the temperatures, so the temperatures vary from map to map. I'm pretty sure this is one of the colder maps. There's also a lot of wildlife. So let's hope we find more bullets because these, uh, we're going to have some wolves. Oh, wolvesy polvesies. Now from here, I, this is kind of, um, it's a pretty big open map. There's, there's like a forested sort of stuff in the middle, but on the edges it's, it's an ocean. I think we're down to 10. Uh, we have 11 now. We find we found an 11th. Um, train unloading. Um, all right, here's our first POI. There's a. Uh, we'll check that out. What's in here? Does this go to another map? Or I have no idea. Oh, it's just caved in. So throughout their development, they've had these sort of like areas that are clearly transition. They look like transition areas, but as they develop new maps, they open them up. And that might be one in the future. All right. First fresh uh, first building in a while. We'll leave the mittens. I'll 
pick up the T plaid shirt. Uh, oh dear, we're hungry. Nice print. I don't think we need to take a a, a mat. Is a can opener? Mm, this will come in handy. I really shouldn't, but I can't help it. I can't help it. I can't. I can't stop picking stuff up. It's like matches is a good find. I just like picking stuff up. What can I say? I'm a hoarder. Um. Let's see if this MRE. These MREs are really, really nice. They have a gajillion calories. Technically 1,750. We are pretty thirsty. We don't have a lot of water. But we have two sodas and we have a can of soup. I think the soup gives you liquid and otherwise we have to start a fire. I'd like to find the ocean or the... I guess it's an ocean. I don't even really know. How did we miss this? The clown all bundled up in his wolf jacket. Ooh! Another hatchet. Um, now, we really don't need the weight, but I can't just leave a hatchet sitting around, so... Alright, so we have to figure out how to make it... I pretty much, I think, this way, but I... I, I just don't know how. Yeah, you can see it. Um, I think maybe we can just walk around this and go down this ramp. Um, so I've mentioned before, I've, I usually play this game where the wolves are passive. And I've seen five wolves in the same place on, on passive. And... Luck, they don't attack you on passive, that's the point, but five wolves, so this may be difficult. I, sadly, I don't have a spread shot or a rocket launcher. Man, that would be a fun little mod. The, the, the makers of this game are not mod friendly, which really turns me off. For the longest time, they basically were against mods. But I think they've started to come around, and they're kind of like... Like, we're not going to help you make mods, but we won't um, ban you from the forums for talking about them. Actually, I don't think they allow talking about them on the forums, but you can talk about them on the Reddit now. It used to be you couldn't even talk about it on the Reddit. Uh, there's no there's no rocket launcher in this game. Fallout, Fat Man. Yeah, that would be a little, a little much. Use it to take out a moose. Um, let's go for that trailer, huh? so far. Ooh. Now why is he frozen inside? Okay. 
They're probably afraid of mods to make the game better. Yeah, I think the developers of this game have are seem to have this. It's just this one guy, but he seems to really have this prima donna thing. He's all about his vision of what the game should be. And so, f for example, he's always poo pooed the survival mode because he has this idea of this story and blah 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 but people people love the survival mode and when they came out with the story mode it's pretty much all negative feedback uh cyan welcome what's going on how are you 1294 the year of my birth no, 1924. Still warm, but we've got some winds. Pretty serious wind. Um, looks like this is a path. Maybe we should take the path instead of trying to forge our way. Um, I don't know which of these paths. It's your battle tag. Oh, I see. On uh, on on uh, Blizzard, huh? All right. Again, C is on our right. That's our destination. Um. This, this little fishing huts I'd really like to make it to. Um, you're a WoW player? I used to play WoW. I guess a lot of people say that, huh? I used to play WoW. Yeah, that's exactly... That's exactly right. Um, I love that it's noon because even even though we don't know exactly where we are, yeah, oh, the ocean or the sea, oh, guys, we made it. Isn't it cold and austere? There's a little house out on that island. You can live in that house and grow old. And... All right, let's let's keep let's keep following the path. I don't. <clears throat> it looks too steep to jump down. But I'm kind of worried about this dead thing over here. Could be could be a wolf. Played WoW for 20 minutes. Got bored of it? Got bored of it? RuneScape? I never really played RuneScape. I think I tried it, but... Um, we can't really get down here. So... Let's keep going. Oh, I just... its I think it's so pretty. So, out there, at the edges, is ice, where you can actually fall through, and it'll start cracking. And um, you can fall through, but there's a chance that things will wash up near there. played WoW for 10 years. That's kind of a long time to play any game. Like, you're a master. If I played chess for 10 years, 
Um, have I played the Long Dark campaign mode? I'm not really sure what campaign mode is. This is the sandbox, the survival. The campaign is like the story mode? I haven't played the story mode. All right, we got some cottages on the beach. This is the kind of thing I'm looking for here. Gotta watch for walls. Look, oh, there's one. Nope, I haven't played story mode. I, I really don't have much of an interest in it, and it seems like all of the reviews were bad, so I stayed away from it. All right, we made it to a little house. Got pictures on the wall. Curtains we can tear apart. You generally find a lot of clothing in houses. <laughs> Wolves can't be inside houses, thank God. Um, but but these houses are great because they've got all this wood you can chop up. A lot of food, kitchens. If you have a hacksaw, you can get metal from the toasters and stuff like that. So, all right, here's what I know about Coastal Highway. We can basically follow this road from one end to the other. Um, and on the, basically one end is a, is a gas station. And that gas station is just chock full of stuff. But that's where I've seen five wolves. Um, so on the other hand, there's an island out in the water where there are, there's some wolves, but there's not a whole lot of wolves. It's I think it's called Jack Rabbit Island, and it's full of rabbits. I think that we should make our house there. And oh shit, little socks and some water. We don't have to uh, even make a fire today. So let's put on those socks. Dece, Dece wool socks. Um, you want to stream this game, but you think it's not a good idea in your region? No one have any interest? What do you mean in your region? Um, I'm not sure if people have an interest uh, in any region. Um, <laughs> one of my long-term viewers was in here earlier telling me how much this game is is boring and i kind of can't i can't disagree it is a little boring and repetitive but there's something a little soothing about it and i think it's something that makes the excitement more intense that's how i feel about it you're from brazil oh cool uh, Pale said it was boring, Joey. <laughs> Nobody needs this anymore. Uh, T-shirt. Ooh, a, a vest made out of down. Um, at this point, the major stuff we're missing is like hacksaw. Um, honestly, that's all I can think of. I'm not gonna be able to carry this load for much longer. You can tear all these um, crates apart and get wood. Oh, we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to do something. I can use this. Look, let's see if any of this stuff's any good. I don't think uh, a ragged T-shirt is gonna be. Okay. 
Yeah, so I'm just gonna, it's just too heavy. Um, we'll come back if we need cloth. We'll explore these uh, houses again, but it's just too heavy, heavy for us to carry it all the way. It's not boring, have very scary horror. It's okay, it's just, your English is fine. Um, yeah, the wolves, the wolves definitely are kind of horrifying. I, I think it's boring in a good way. I mean, look, it's the thing about streaming is if, if you're not enjoying yourself, don't, don't watch, you know? Um, but personally, I think it's boring in like a kind of a comforting way. Like there's a nice little rhythm. And then when there's excitement, it's it's really a deviation from the norm, and that's kind of cool. I, I don't know. Oh, work boots. So that that we could get leather from that. I think there was another house here. There it is. Oh, so the, so while we were inside, the, the visibility reduced. So now I can't see where the island is. You just run, you never hit a wolf. Greenpeace loves you. Uh... Yeah, so I I played um What's the what's the other one, the free one? I played the free one a couple of times and I I think the best strategy is to hide and run. Find a bathroom. I'll take it. Um lock yourself in. I mean, you can't lock it, but you know what I mean. Fortnite, Fortnite, that's the game. And uh, let everybody else kill each other. There's nothing in here. This is a disappointing little room. All right. So there's a wolf not too far. That looks like the kind of distance wolves will spot you from. I really don't like low visibility. It's so easy to get turned around out here because there's kind of no... There's no landmarks. But we're looking for an island. I can't, I can't see shit though. You know? I don't even know what direction it's in. Of meat. I don't, I don't, I probably shouldn't do this. I can barely walk with this much gear. So we'll cook it up, eat it, so that we don't carry it around. I think that makes some small amount of sense. How in the world do you run away from wolves, Cyan? They see me from across the way. You saw a moose, Lurker? You saw a moose? Uh... Oh, you're just saying you want... <laughs> Why are you all about tailoring, Lurker? Oh no. Oh no.
So he shouldn't attack with the fire like this. But I'm gonna... I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna add fuel. He ran away. I'm going to cook the rest of this venison. I'm gonna try to eat it. And I hope he comes back. And then I'll shoot his ass. And then I'll cook him up. You want to see the ammo outfit? Haven't you seen it? Like a bajillion times? We've got the wolf coat, the rabbit mittens, and the... These are actually cargo pants, but... Um, I don't know where he went. Holy shit. I don't like the direction he went in, because that's towards those uh, cottages. I really wish I could get a little visibility. I don't want to head in a random direction and, and find the edge of the ice. I didn't see him. Forty forty three minutes. I still have a couple more sticks too. I, but I I mean, yeah, there's nothing. Alright, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take a torch, and I'm going to run to this house. Don't give out, torch. Oh, it shit fucking worked. Oh, that was badass looking. I mean, it is boring. It's like long, it's like six hours of boringness and then an exciting moment. That's the thing. Um, okay. That's a legit thing survivors did? What, throw, throw torches? So, I think we probably shouldn't have picked up the meat. The meat, in this mode, meat is death. Even if you don't have the smelly symbols, it still, it still smells. So... Yeah, br like brandish it. I think you can do that. I didn't know what button to press. I think you can brandish it if you left click, but I right clicked. I'm not even sure. Um, all right, I'm going to take an hour nap. Maybe the weather will clear up. We'll be a little hungry. We'll eat some of the meat. I guess we'll just leave what we can't eat. I shouldn't have bothered picking it up in the first place. Uh, 
Oh my god, we picked up four pounds of fuel. I, I could drop it. I mean, I could drop it. That's a thing I could do. I know, I know. I want to get to that island. I want to get to what I think is called Rabbit Island or something like that. That's where I want to set up my base. I wonder why the wolf was afraid. I, I'm, maybe it's because it's sort of a glitch and he was afraid when I went in and so he's afraid when I went out. At any rate, I'm dropping this meat, which, you know, I hate to do. All right, there's a wolf at two o'clock. Um, we want to get to that that little mount, uh, island. Okay, and I don't know if it's the right island, but it's at island. They both have houses on them. One is, one is called like the her the hermit or something, and one is Jack Rabbit on. Jesus Christ! See, there's wolves like everywhere. It's so flat you can see everything. It's really different than the woods. I'm gonna run. So you can see the house just in the middle right there. Yeah, I agree, Joey. It's nice to to sort of have a bead on them because a couple times they came around me in the, uh, the the woods, and it's just like I don't even know where he was came came from. Um, looks like there's something dead up there. There's always something dead. But I kind of think we we made it. So see those docks? You can just barely make them out. Those are, I think that's um, a lot of little fishing huts. Those have some good stuff. And I think that's that's either Jackrabbit Island or Hermit. Hermit. We'll find out soon. And the. The gas station is somewhere over here. I'm not exactly sure. Um, saying, need to sleep? All right, man. Have a good night. Uh, thanks for hanging out. And I hope... Uh, actually, let me see. Yeah, you know, uh, if you want to hang out again, give me a follow. You get notified. All right, Jackrabbit Island. This is... I think this is the one that is preferable. I want to say there's fewer wolves. Um, which, you know. But man, it's a clear day. We can really see everything. That's that's where we probably want to head. To, to scavenge. Um... 1.3. I, I don't know, Lurker. Um, it doesn't tell me what version it is. 
Messy. Here's why they call it Jackrabbit Island. Uh, that rabbit's name is Jackrabbit. All right, I think this is, I think this is our new home. Let's um, let's get some everyday supplies like wood, and go inside and figure out how to organize our stuff. Put everything down that we don't need. And this is a this is a nice base of operations, I think, because we can at least when it's clear, we can go to any of the sort of major places to to do stuff. So this will work for a while. Let's um. Grab some fur. This pack is getting too heavy to carry. Let's get a bit more. Uh, probably should have went in when it was light. Hopefully, this is one of those houses that's light at, at night. Find a place to rest. It's not. Looks like we're in a kitchen. I'm basically going to try to find the bed then. That's a bath. That's a bed. We did it! Success! We ventured. I mean, that's like a 24 hour trek. Oh, there's an Aurora. Wow. We're, it's. <laughs> we just got here. We're already finding uh, good stuff. Let's wear these. We'll repair them. I wonder, I wonder if I can repair them now. Since it's an Aurora. That's so hard to say. An Aurora. Super cool, super cool. Twice as warm as the other sock. Let's, um... Let's eat a little candy bar. Drink a little drinky drink. And then... Hopefully sleep till morning. So I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to loot the house, sort of organize things, and then I'm going to quit for um, for the night. So that that'll be, you know, another ten minutes or so. Um, not quite morning, but getting there. Let's, let's give it two more hours. It's actually still kind of dark. Moldy chocolate. Yeah, what are you going to do, though? I saw a cool thing on YouTube the other day about how chocolate is made. And it's really weird. Like the fruits that they... Uh, Power Spore Max. <laughs> Welcome. Don't freeze. Luckily... Uh, luckily, cold has not been one of our problems. We've got a pretty good set of clothes, this stuff will come in handy. and and we're getting nicer stuff. But um, but the wolves, man, 
the wolves are something else entirely. Well, thank thank you for worrying. I appreciate it. Let's 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 shoot for another hour here. Oh, it's not. He's not tired. She's not tired. Then, can we see well enough to sort of? Yeah. So let's let's drop some of our heavier stuff. Um, do we have a fireplace? Ooh. We might not have a fireplace. We might not be able to live here. I mean, we can live here. But it sucks that we don't have a fireplace. Yeah. We'll have to make fires outside, which is kind of a pain in the butt. Um, we'll definitely want to loot that other house, and we'll see if it makes more sense to live there. But at any rate, I'm going to drop some of the heavy stuff. Like, oh, I don't know, these six fur uh, logs. Uh, we're going to freeze. I, I mean, again, <laughs> I don't think, I don't think we're going to freeze. We just have to go outside to make fires, and... It kind of sucks because if it's not good weather, you can't make a fire. But all right, let's put our books down. We'll put some put sticks in, in between. Okay, so that's that's a starter. Let's um, honestly, let's put clothes up in the clothes drawers like this thing. Or maybe not. That's 88. Let's try to put it in here. I don't know how much clothes we have. Um, let's check out the sweater. Put our jeans away. Mittens and socks. Let's check out this new sweater here. Oh. The warmest sweater around. Let's repair it. It's, it's actually at half quality, and it's better than what we have. Oh, come on. You make me pick the sewing kit again? Um, so no matter what map I choose, I can find Rabbit Island. Eventually, yeah. Yeah, it's, some of them are like three or four maps removed, though. They're not all connected together. I mean, you know what I mean? Like, you have to kind of find your way. There we go. So that is um, super warm. Even less likely to, to freeze. Let's put, let's put this, oh, actually, um, yeah, we'll wear the thick wool sweater, not the thin one. I like how this game lets you put more than one item of clothing in the same slot. And it, even though it's just two, it feels a lot better, you know, than those RPGs that only lets you wear one ring and stuff like that. I always thought that was so frustrating. All right, let's do let's do food in the freezer. It doesn't actually keep the food frozen, but it's nice and big, and it kind of makes sense. Um, don't need coffee. Don't need that. Do do do. Dude. And then Oh yeah. Now this is the stuff. So the place we were before um had such small storage space. But look, this is eighty-eight pounds I can put in here. So let's make this um 
like everything else, I guess. We'll put, uh, we don't need maybe two, two of those is enough. Fuel that, that, that. Um, and what, another thing that you may not have realized, but this, this house also doesn't have a workbench, which is another nice thing about the last place we were living in, is there was a, a workbench. But we've already built a lot of the stuff that we want, like the coat. So speaking of coat, Um, we, we'll have to keep some of the stuff we find, like the clothes, because these are pretty heavy, and we don't want to wear them all the time. Just when you, just when you, well, need need that insulation. Okay, there's a storm lantern just sitting right there. Mm, this will come in handy. Um, and work boots. Yeah, so same, same weight, but these are much better. I can't wait till it lights up in here. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Seems to be a lot of stuff in here. Okay. So let's drop. Lanterns, fuel. That seems like a good place. We'll drop. Um, sleeping bag. All right, we're actually underweight. Finally, we still have a ton of stuff. All these drawers we have we gotta search the whole house. Nobody needs this Sports anymore. Sports socks. I don't know. I can't imagine they'd be better than wool socks. Big is a medicine shop. Eleven pounds. I think we can afford to use something bigger. That's eleven. Um, what about these cabinets? I mean, we have so much it. storage space. Thirty-three. All right, let's do. Um, let's do like building stuff in here. Um, crafting stuff. I mean. Let's do crafting stuff and medical stuff. All right, so doot, doot, see this is the boring part, Joey, you probably fell asleep. Working on your essay. Okay. Um, do we need six painkillers? I hope not. Oh, is it for tomorrow?
Okay, so let's do tools. Wait, where did I put the tools? That we did we put stuff? Didn't I put a hatchet somewhere? Where did I put that hatchet? In the freezer? No. Okay, all right, good, 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 good. I just sort of scared myself there. Um, let's, let's put a lot of these matches. Let's put <laughs> uh, well, you know, I guess as long as, as long as you get it done, um, We've put most everything away. Um, we we really need to find another coat, I think, a lighter coat. And um, in fact, I'm gonna switch to the jeans because um, I I don't know. We'll see how cold it is, but. It's just so heavy, you know, and we're going to be looting a lot and bringing it different places. Room may not have been built tonight, but this essay better be. Fair enough. Um, it's still kind of hard to see in here, and I can't really help myself. Uh, look around. This stuff will come in handy. Baseball cap is, you know, it's a thing. Oh, we haven't searched these. Oh yeah. Um, if, if we decide to live on this island, it actually makes sense to make some traps. Um, some rabbit traps. Because they're, they're all over the island. What have we here? Oh, the stove. Give it one hour. I uh, I really hope this isn't as light as this house gets because it's freaking. It's not really a whole lot brighter, huh? I mean, maybe, maybe a little bit, but oh well. Yeah, I. Maybe, maybe the other house would be nicer. But this one, this one is decent. I mean, there's a ridiculous amount of storage space. I can't, can't complain, can't complain with that. So I almost moved to an apartment in Times Square, which, as you may 
know is a very busy part of Manhattan. And I'm kind of a, I don't know, whatever. Um, but I, I was looking at it, it's pretty cheap. And I'm thinking, man, why is this so cheap? It's not really near any grocery stores, that's part of it. But so I got to thinking, looking around, and I looked again, and looked again. And I realized there were no closets. There's not even the first hat closet, not even like a pantry, nothing. It's literally just a room, just a box. And, and then I'm like, can I live without a closet? I mean, don't you need at least like a bar to hang clothes on? I mean, something, you know? But nothing. Um, and I decided not to go with the place. All right. Let's um, import the bar. I mean, you could bring, like, there's definitely things that people sell to hang clothes and whatnot. And honestly, I don't really hang clothes now, but it's just not having a closet. Where would you put boxes, you know? Where would you put, like, your air conditioner when it's when it's the winter? Where would you put old stuff? I mean, it's just, you need a closet. I don't know. All right, let's take a look outside. I think um, I think this is going to be it for me. I haven't eaten. It's, it's actually, I think, getting kind of late. I'm pretty hungry. Blistery, beautiful day. We welcome our new house. Um, I already like it a whole lot more than our house on the lake. Uh, and when we play next time, we'll check out these other islands. That's probably the first thing we do. We also have a bunch of other stuff to check out. So um, I'm looking forward to it already, but I've got to stop playing. I, I can't. I'm too hungry. And all this talk about eating cooked deer and... and um, uh, chocolate bars and et cetera, et cetera. It's, it's getting to me. So, so everybody, thank you. Um, thank you for coming and hanging out. There's been a lot of people in here all night and I, I, I appreciate it. Um, uh, thank you, Ica TV for the, um, the raid. And, uh, yeah, if, if you want to come back next time, give me a follow. Come to the Discord. Uh, the link is below. Um, I stream pretty much every day, although different games. So, yeah, I will see you all on another day. Thank you very much. Have a nice night.